put it up right now. I mean, like... No, no, no one's watching. I gotta... Uh, or... Which uh -oh. is, yeah, that's fine. I mean... <clears throat> Hi, everyone. We're live. We're no, here. we're not. Oh, they see us. Oh. Hello. It's uh, hi everybody. This is me. It's him. This is my show. It's, it's Julian's show. <laughs> it's the Julian show starring me, Rockcock64. <laughs> now the most important thing about this show is the, the Pikmin. I don't know if you've ever seen a Pikmin before. They're disgusting creatures. <laughs> they on your arm while you're trying to sleep. They're trying to take your eyeballs. Why? Because they're, they're a very rare treasure. Were they rare? Well, how many are there? Two. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of them. No, there's only you only have two. Oh, you mean I thought you meant Pikmin. No, eyeballs. Oh. Because Pikmin aren't rare, they're everywhere. Yeah. No, Pikmin are fucking vermin. Every For every one Pikmin you see, there's ten more that you don't see. It is. You're doing a favor to the world by just killing a few. I put down Pikmin traps in the corner, in the kitchen. And you just, just put them down. Just get rid of them. Do you think they have Pikmin traps? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure they do. Why don't they put that in? They should do that. Well, in Pikmin 4, they're going to go to a world that hasn't been destroyed by war, and that's where we will come across the Pikmin traps. That's cool. It is. It's, it's amazing. Oh, it's, look, it's a puffy blowhog. That, why would you say that? <laughs> that's not politically correct. It's very rude. Oh. It's a bloated blow? Thank you. A oh, bloated blow. It's much better. I don't like that one. That's a decorate a cannon beetle. Would you put your finger in its mouth? Yeah. He's gonna kill himself. That's weird he's that it right. zeroes in on him. He's he's the only guy around. That's all he's got. He's lonely. Who's his friends? Oh. Oh no, his friends are coming. Oh no. <laughs> Wait, are you allowed to feed him? Is that what this is? Yeah. Wow. That's cruel. That's cruel. Just giving him Pikmin to eat all he no, wants. No, those are pick pick carrots. I don't know the difference. There's your favorite oh, you're beetles. Right. You couldn't stop talking about them. I love the beetle. He dances so well. What's even the point of throwing the carrots at them? To piss them off. Uh, you get to see what it looks like when they try to eat you. You get to see what it looks like when they have carrots thrown at them. <laughs> you hit him on the head with one. Oh no! Oh, you're fucking him up. He's taking the carrots. Oh, you're pissing him off with all these carrots. God damn. Oh, these are the Beluga twins. There's two of them. They do the everything Beluga again. Twins. Yep. <laughs> you threw a carrot really high up. Oh, you fucked him up. Yeah, a really good carrot arm. You go, you gotta go places with that arm. It's even the point. You can't even put carrots in the water. Ca carrots and water work together really well. I don't know if you've ever tried. No, it. they burst. Well, that brings out the flavor of them. There's nothing left. You, you get a hint of aroma. Oh no! I don't like that one. <laughs> I, I, what's it doing? Why would it do that? <laughs> it's like a racist tomato. It's a racist, racist tomato. Cause it's got big lips. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know. It, 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 it's a plant. It doesn't have an ethnicity. Look, there's nothing wrong with being a plant. But this thing is wrong. Uh, it's very wrong. It's very good at eating carrots. Yeah. He likes eating. Carrots. What the, what the fuck is this? Oh no. Is, it the, has is a... the thing up? Should I start playing now? Yeah. yeah, we've been live for a while. Oh, okay. Well, I know we've been live, but uh, I didn't want to start playing until the. Uh... I have them, hold on! Hi, we're live! <laughs> uh huh. 
I didn't want to start playing until the alert was up. Oh, it's uh, probably on. Do you have Twitch alerts going? Yeah. Okay. Is it layered on top of everything? Mm-hmm. Okay. Here, I'll, 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 uh, I'll do a, a test just to make sure. Okie dokie! Oh. Oh. Here we are. We're in the Chozo ruins. Okay. That's the song that Superman. Here I am hurting everyone I can. And then the Superman yeah, that's, can. that's the theme. That's the theme to the movie. The real theme. You can't really argue. Thanks for the donation, the best gamers USA. Wow, thank you for 50 whole dollars. Wow. Hey guys, you hear me? Hi, yeah, we're live. Hey, it's Say you. Hi. Hey guys, it's me. Hi. I'm using oh. your shitty $2 pair of headset. That's fine, it's... How's it going? It's... Good, I got clearance, um, Russell Stover's chocolate apple. Ooh. It's a very happy. Hey look, it's all my favorite Pikmin. Who are you fighting with all those? These Pikmin look sick. They're sick, they're Brad. Poor Brad. Who are you? Brad. Brad. Normal, am I right? Who are you? I'm, um, Seti Boo. Hey, Seti Boo. Hi, Seti Boo. I'm glad, you're, I'm glad you're back from the grave. Yeah, I'm here at Corn's Tower. Um, mm. You know he died. Not surprising, he was very large. Well, that's not why he died. Oh, how did oh. he They got in a car accident. Here oh, we go. no. This is the reason why I was so upset every time I was losing purple Pikmin last time. Because you gotta have a hundred of them. Oh, no. What? What's he doing? I don't remember this. To pick up, uh, to pick up this Oh, this of one course. Thing. Oh, you're so strong. Your Pikmin are gonna be really tough. So tough. Tough shitty. Tough okay. shitty. Guys, my, crashed guys. his car and he flew through the windshield. It happens. And they Do I sound normal? Yeah. You guys might yeah, have yeah, you're fine. You guys, but my eyes really itch. I put things in them. Yeah, put, uh, put rice in, in them. It's a great idea. Cook it's or idea. Cook. Good idea. Raw rice or cooked rice? Purple rice. That's a good idea. Someone said, is Cory going to be in the call? Well, he wanted to be. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he asked to be in the call. Funny, isn't it that he didn't, that he's not in the call? Isn't that interesting? Cor Corey's probably busy doing something. He's probably drinking. He can drink with us. He probably is drinking. Or he's asleep. He falls what if asleep he's, this time. What if he's sleeping while he's drinking? That, could be, yeah. I mean, that's... Probably what's happening. It happens. It's this natural. It's a natural it's... state to be in. I'm sick, everybody. Why are you so sick? You make me sick. Oh. Chinese food makes me sick. It's true. Sometimes summer, sometimes summer. Never cry, but it's okay. Hey, everybody, it's laid, me. I'm the I fly laid, honey. I laid my <laughs> eyes on this bitch. Oh, that's not the words. That's uh, not even the words. Cheesecake's fine for next summer. Mm. This is really good. I don't, think, cheesecake. I don't think cheesecake lasts the seasons. <laughs> you you age it. Oh, because it's cheese. Okay. He, also, he, said, he said it was good last summer, so it's not good now. He left it out. But you age it like a fine cheese, and it gets better. He also what sort thought... of wine would you recommend with cheesecake? Well, not um, Chinese food, because it'll make you sick. You want some cheesecake with that wine? I do. <laughs> Pruno. Just make Pruno. Pruno? Yeah, that's when you take ketchup packets from the, the prison cafeteria, and you put them in the toilet bowl, and you let it ferment. Ketchup packets in the toilet bowl? And what mm -hmm. does that create? It, it creates fermented ketchup water. What is good about that? You can get drunk in prison. How do you shit if you <laughs> in can't... Prison. You just mm -hmm. not get the shit while you're making this? Yeah, you shit in other people's toilets. 
That's so weird. Well, how else are you gonna get alcohol in prison? It doesn't seem like that would produce very much. It doesn't, but desperate times call for desperate measures. I can't get buzzed unless it's like, like at least two cans. Uh, how many is that in ketchup packets? I'd imagine a very large amount. Mm. That's, a, that's a good point. Why do they do ketchup packets anyways? Well... It's not you enough. Can't, you, can't, you can't kill people with ketchup packets, so they're easily accessible. I like the little... They have the little plastic tubs now of ketchup, and you can remove the lid to dip into it, or you can just slightly cut it if you want to squeeze it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I was thinking, like, an industrial size, like, of a ketchup, then you would take the lid off and you could put like your whole hand in it. Yeah, you scoop it out. Yeah, you just slap it on that slap it on that dog. That, on that dog. That hot dog. Well, I like the idea of just smearing ketchup on a regular dog. Well, you can do that too, but it's gonna be upset. Now, why are the dogs in prison? <laughs> well, do they have therapy dogs in prison now? They're no, right. the, the, the dogs committed crimes, so they have to do their time. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Are therapy very... dogs happy to be no. where they are? Like, are they happy to be working with I people? I think so, yes, but it depends on which kind of people. If they're old, if they're just like people at a nursing home, yeah, I think... I've met an old lab, and I was very happy there. But if it's like, I don't know, kleptomaniac to keep taking the dog's food or something, I don't know. They, 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 they probably... there, there were photos of dogs that uh, they have in courtrooms to help people... Uh, cope with trauma. It's a terrible place for that bug. Well, that's the thing. A lady's hugging it, and it's just looking at the camera, and it looks like it doesn't want to be any part of it. Probably not. It doesn't even know who she is. So do you think it's happy? Or do you think it's just trained to not care about anything and just tolerate people? It. If you think I'm... about it, therapists are probably the least, like, emotionally invested people in the world. Yeah. Cause they spend like eight hours a day just listening to people's problems. Oh, they well, have to. The they have thing. to not care. They have to not have empathy. So it's probably the same thing for a dog. I don't think they're trained. I think they have. They find dogs with that. Menu. There are dogs like that. That, that makes sense. Really mellow. I went to the. There was a Virginia. We went to the boardwalk. Mm -hmm. Here, one of the stores was just a big black lab, laying there. As everybody's walking by, it's the most bizarre thing to slay in there. You need to say person of lab. I'm sorry. Dog of black. <laughs> Dog um, of black. He's not a person. <laughs> oh my god, what are you trying to say? It was a dog. I'm not like. <laughs> it's actually a dog. Oh, oh, okay. So you, they're, they're less than you? Is that what you're trying to say? No, it was a Labrador. It's classist? <laughs> I have that as my little tag thing um, on my Animal Crossing New Leaf. It's, it's like animals are subhuman. <laughs> <laughs> it's just kind of true. Yeah, it is true. It's the truth, you know? You can't blame me for the truth. Yeah, everyone's thinking of you're just saying it. Mm -hmm. I'm so sick of all these dogs getting these bikes. We're gonna build it. In front of me at McDonald's. We're gonna build a wall around the the, the pound. And he's an actual wall. Yeah. You can already do that. You dig a bunch of holes with a shovel. And then they can't walk through. That's true. Dogs are weak against shovels. <laughs> you put them <laughs> it's their natural enemy. Is if, if you just surround them with like a bunch of shovels, like on the floor, they, they can't walk over the shovels. Have you guys seen the, the I forget what kind of dog was it? But they just surround it in empty pop cans, and it's too afraid to leave the little... Yeah, it spins in circles. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't even try. It's just accepted defeat. Yeah, it does. Here, you're so cool. Over jelly beans aren't bad. I've had some shitty jelly beans, it's okay. The, the, the best jelly beans are Starburst jelly beans. So. They're the very best ones. A hundred percent. What about the Harry Potter ones? They have booger flavor. <laughs> that sounds great. I love eating boogers. I never ate the booger ones. I avoided that. Good job. Why are you talking like a baby? Since I have them in my mouth. 
Yeah. I mean, the jelly beans. <laughs> when you eat know. jelly beans, they de age you. Yeah, that's true. De mm -hmm. Like, have you ever noticed you've never seen an old person working at a jelly a, a jelly bean factory? At a jelly factory. I've never seen anybody working at a jelly bean factory. Mm -hmm. Exactly. How many the jelly don't... factories have you been to? See, they're exposed to so much of the jelly, it just de-ages them until they don't exist anymore. <laughs> That's what's wrong with me. But I don't actually know the title of. Uh, Jimmy Neutron. Thank you. Boy Jimmy genius. Neutron. Boy genius. Boy genius. Jimmy, boy genius. Jimmy, you Super powered mind. And, uh, and uh, he has a canine. He Absolutely. is a canine. He is a canine. Canine yes. 11. Thank you. I Jimmy it. Neutron did do it. He did. <laughs> That's right. He said, got a blast. <laughs> This is this is the history. It's true. Yeah, it happened. That's what? why. That's why Chucky said nine eleven. He knew that Nickelodeon was going to do it, yeah, but no one paid attention to him. Okay. No one. How far, his... Julian? How far in do you think you are now? Uh, well, we're we're almost done. This is the last area. After this, uh, uh, there's a. Uh, oh, oh yeah, you. Do you want to play Cubivore after? That'd be good. Have you ever played Cubivore? I haven't. No, what's it like? But I know it's a good. It's a good. It would be, it would be kind of an interesting one to go in blind. It would be. This is a weird game. Wasn't it rare even back then because nobody mm -hmm. was playing it? Yeah, I remember seeing the advert in the Nintendo Power. It took me forever to find a copy in person. I got it because uh, Animal Cross or not Animal Crossing. What, why did I say that? Smash Brothers Melee. Oof. Oh. What a what a mix up. They had the trophy for it, but they didn't say what the name of the game was. Did they not? No. What does it say? They, it's like coming soon. And it never came. It did. Just not made me go. And then I saw it and I said, "Oh, that's that's that video game. I want it." And then you didn't get it. I always get my e, way. Because it's actually fairly violent. I think it was ready to eat. I mean, this is violent. Mm hmm. They're being the yeah, fuck out like, of rocks. I mean, it's pixelated, but there's blood splatter. Like, you rip a limb off, and blood will splatter. Yeah, and you chomp on it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's not real blood. It's imagine. Maybe it's, it's jelly. That's what they say in the game. Mm -hmm. They say they're made of ketchup packets. Do you remember in the manual? Who's man? The who's cross section man of a cubivore. The manual. Really detailed picture. You know, manual. That's the cubivore's name. That's right. Who's Nicky Vore? You. Oh, it's me, Nicky Vore. That's what Nicki Minaj changed her name to after she became a, a cannibal. I understand uh -oh. pop culture. I think you unplugged your fan from your computer again. Hello? Hi, you're here. I'm sorry. It's a bad computer. What? what? Why, is your, why is your fan powered by your computer? My fan? Yeah. Like, as soon as it went doo-doo, suddenly the fan noise got lower. I didn't hear the doo-doo! You didn't? I didn't hear a bagoo. I didn't hear a bagoo. I never heard a bagoo. What's a bagoo? Bagoo. Svengoolie. Svengoolie. Sven Why was Svengoolie trending? You said Svengoolie was trending the other day. Because pe people were watching it. I don't know why. I'm surprised Svengoolie is even around still. Well, it's not the same guy, right? Is it not? Isn't it like his son or some shit? That's weird. I'm a cool one. That's weird. Son of... Who's Svengoolie? I actually don't know that one. It's, it's a man who wears those, uh, horror TV hosts. 
Yeah, and he wears makeup. Mm -hmm. Oh, so his name is referencing. He, he says, "Welcome to Sven Gulli, everybody. It's me. Hi, ha ha ha. We're gonna have a fun time watching the the, the movie." What area was that? Like, a uh, dumpster. Dumpster area. <laughs> it, it was the lava themed area. <laughs> That's weird. If his son took over. Oh, your ship's gold! Oh wait, that happens as soon as you get... Blood. It's the... it's the... the Svenguli bloodline. If you're in the family, you have to be the host of Svenguli eventually. That's true, it's, it's a curse. <laughs> they don't want to do it. <laughs> they have to. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Someone's gotta do it. He... he made a deal with the devil who happened to be an, a network executive. How about that? That's from a cartoon. Yes, it's Remember when I just team was trapped in the Star Wars room? Yeah. What? Remember the, during the, the Game Awards? The Game Awards. And everyone was oh, yeah, stuck playing it. They had to play Battle for for us. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she ever got out. Does Battlefront still work even though GameSpy is down like the original? Oh, I don't know. Who does? Thank you. Thank you? What? The what? original battle Battlefront. Does it work even though GameSpy is gone? I don't know, but... The second game done. Okay, because it'd be fun to play it. You know what, what would be fun to play? Chess. Y yeah. Mario Party 2 with proper online support. Yeah. Mario 2 with proper online support. Yeah. Good job, cool. Proper online support. Hey, Nintendo. Yeah. If you want lots of money, here's a cool idea. Dig Dug 2 with proper online support. No, that's not it. Oh. The, that, uh, the video game you're making with uh, the multiplayer that you're focusing on, but it's only local? Mm -hmm. You ever think about maybe just making it online? Wait, which one are you talking about? Uh, the original almost Mario almost Brothers. everything they're making. Oh, you're just making in general, yes. Almost every single game they make, they try to focus I heard on the player, but Star Fox they don't. Zero mm -hmm. or Star Fox Ray or whatever it's called is not gonna have multiplayer. That's kind of weird. That is weird. Well, it's okay because you get that. Um, what do you call that game? Slippy's uncle. That's true. Slippy's uncle. That? His name is Grippy. Yeah. Did you explain that to me? He gets a grip on Slippy's dick. I did not play it, no. Oh. To be fair, though, the multiplayer... I know people had fun within Star Fox 64, mm -hmm. and I did too, but it is really, really bare bones. Yeah, it is. It's clearly like a thing they threw in last second. All the more reason to be in it, though. Mm. That's true. I mean, a lot of multiplayer in uh, old games were just yeah. thrown in last second. Goldeneye Conquer. Mm-hmm. I don't know about Conquer, they put quite a bit in the Conquer. Conquer, apparently, they did actually start putting that in there at the very end. Oh, okay. It has so many game modes. It did, but they were all based off parts of the single player. Mm. And it was way better than the one they put a lot of time into for uh, Xbox. What kind of multiplayer modes do you think Young Conquer is gonna have? Um, into your friend's house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, break into your friend's house. It's pretty good. <laughs> and then Conker runs around and it, he pretends to steal things there. And, and then and you then send you... a video of it to your friend and he gets really scared and runs yeah. home. And then and then you when he gets home, you tie him up. And you take his money. And then you put young Conker on top of him. Mm -hmm. And he starts ripping his eyeballs <laughs> out. <Yeah. laughs> what happens in the game happens. <laughs> It's really advanced. They they simulate horrific imagery. So if L Lil Conquer rips your eyeballs out, the game actually tracks your face and puts uh, holes in places yeah. where your eyes used to be. <laughs> Sometimes in places where they weren't. So you start losing touch with reality. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a good idea. Thank you. Hello. Oh, there oh. he is! Hey, oh, hey. Hooray! 
The Great Correct. Sorry. I was just asleep. It happens. <laughs> you get any Easter candy? No, because Easter is gay. Well, yeah, it's candy that's cheap. Yeah. Right? No, well, I I used to get candy from my parents, but so my mom's like, uh, actually, she just doesn't give me candy anymore because I don't get candy. I don't like candy. Did she investigate your candy in case it got drugged? Did no. Did look for razor blades? Did you go to church like a good boy? <sighs> she, uh, she just didn't give me any candy. How late? Didn't... Let's have a little, like, a questionnaire. How late okay. did everybody here be go to church? What? What's a church? How late in their life was everybody here made? Uh, what's church? <clears throat> That's where the devil gets crucified. You no, know what? Stop. I don't actually remember. Yeah, I, it, it confuses me because, like, Easter is the day where the people found Jesus behind the big boulder. Yeah. Right? Hey, we so, wasn't behind the big boulder. Yeah, yeah, it, exactly. It was the day they went up to check on him to make sure he was still dying, and he wasn't yeah. there anymore. And they were no, like, "No, no, he was dead." I thought. No, no, he was gone. He was, yeah. he's gone. He was no longer there. The boulder was yeah. still in place. It was, a, it was a mystery. It was a never be solved before solved. So that was the day he risen. But right. this is just the day where they checked up on him. They just went. It's like they came up. Well, that's true. See... He could have left a while ago. Exactly. Yeah. So we. I didn't celebrate... think of it that way. That's what I'm saying. We celebrate Easter, but it's still like just been this mystery of when, even if Jesus did rise, what's to say it wasn't Saturday? Well, who's based, to say it wasn't based Saturday? on where you are, Easter actually can be celebrated at different times. So maybe Why? there were there were other days uh, exactly. where they could have checked the rock. Why is so, Easter just three days long? And so, and why is Easter also treated like? Like it's fucking Christmas, where every single place is closed on Easter. Okay, that I one, know I, that I, one is weird to me because I even remember I had friends in high school saying, "Oh, I got Easter presents," and I said, "What yeah, Easter <laughs> presents?" I never. I, I tried to go to Chipotle. I was, know, dude. Oh, I tried going to a bar and it was closed. A bar. A bar. That yeah. A that bar. Is weird. Books don't close. It, yeah, it, everywhere is closed. The, it, I've said this before. I think I said this on the podcast, but they might as well just call it like National Sorry We're Closed Day because that's what it fucking is. You can't go anywhere without places being closed. Do you think Jesus went to a bar after he got out of there? I think even Jesus would have some stuff. He'd be like, excuse me, uh, you, he turned water shouldn't to we let people rejoice and go out and drink? Come on. You can only drink but wine. Instead, we have to make Pruno, you know, fucking ketchup packets. I maybe this is just a personal gripe, but I've always thought it was oh, kind gosh. of weird that they would make us Gherkin Gate. Oh my god, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck is that? It's a I, new hashtag. I always thought it was just kind of weird that um hashtag Gherkin Gate everybody that places are closed on <laughs> Easter and like uh um well Christmas there's places open, but on Easter there's even more places closed. Yeah. Than Christmas, it's just really confusing. Because. That's the day where you're with your family, where everybody's together. Don't you think you and someone want to go out and eat something on Easter? I mean, Did you ever it's... see the video Sunday special? No, it's no, right. Did. It's about the little kid, and he uh, gets invited by his friend to go to Fun World, the theme yeah. park. And his mom tells him he can't go because it's on a Sunday. Wow, what a bit. Weird 2D animation. Yeah, and the whole thing is really depressing. The kid is really, really sad and just wants to go to the theme park. And she with won't his... explain why. No, she won't either. She just says it's a special day and you can't go. It's and Easter. And then his whole family's mad at him because he wanted to go to a theme park. What? What is yeah, this? Yeah, his daughter like tattles on him, right? Yeah. I mean, his son, his and he gets sent to his room and everything, and he's really depressed. Then and then he has to, at the very end, he tells his friend that he can't go, and his friend goes, "Oh, that stinks." Well, Isn't that the one where he's like, "Oh yeah, I'll go ask Tommy," and so yeah, at the very end. Else. Yeah, he invites somebody else at the end after telling him to go have fun at church, and that's Who? it. Who? Um, what is this? It's a, it's a it's a, it's a supposed to be an <laughs> educational cartoon about why Sundays are special. Is it Mormonism? I forget what it was attached to. Oh, I think it was regular Christianity. Is it just regular Christianity? No, wasn't it like wasn't it um some one of those special ones? One of those special ones. One uh, of those special ones. They're all special. I mean, Sunday in the Bible is supposed to be the day where everybody just chills. That's right. what God said. He's like, everyone just chill on Sunday. Relax. Put up, a, put up your feet. Park. Open up a brewski. Yeah. These are all quotes from the Bible. 
It is. He said this. It's it's John three sixteen. That's it's not what he said. He said uh, because I gave you life, you have to dedicate a seventh of your life to doing nothing for me. I yeah. did not say that. He said on the, the seventh voice. day. We and, then, and then also uh, half your life sleeping. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not. That's still not religion. That's... No, God did that. Yeah. I mean, he it's did, just... but. <laughs> That's in the Bible, we just have to come. No, it's in, it's in the Bible. Remember there's the story about a, he hit his brother with a rock, and he said, as punishment, you're going to have to go to bed at night. Yeah. And he said, oh, I don't yeah, wanna. When, when uh, Adam smashed Joe's head in. Adam yeah. smashing. Because originally God created two dudes. It was originally just company. Yeah, it was, it was Adam and Steve. <laughs> and they took Remember? out Steve. He fed him to the, the yeah, same he line. killed he killed Steve, so that's why he had to as punishment you can no longer have butt sex. Did you know it's that true. the lions did you know that the lions and stuff were r happily ran with uh the the first reincarnation of human? Wow. They wow. they frolicked with them, but the second the second Eve ate the apple, she created sin and they all started killing each other. I bet Steve would have eaten. Apple. Yeah, that's true. Steve, it's too bad he's Steve, dead. Steve was a bro. Why'd you kill him? Well, Why that was the thing was that after they got kicked out of the garden, God said, "Hey, lions, I, I want you to fucking God kill them." God was homophobic. Like shit. That's why he didn't put a pussy in a man. Mm -hmm. He's homophobic. That's true. He created them just because he hates them. <laughs> He hates pussies. It made sense at the time. It said everybody's curious at some point. I think Gosh was curious when he made Steve. Gosh. <laughs> I just wanted to see how it worked. He did. But he, he fucked up. <laughs> That's why he fucking threw him away. Yeah. Got rid of the ovens before anything else happened. Well, he didn't do it. It was that, though. No, he it wants was you to think. Eve. It was Eve's fault. Mm -hmm. He invented yeah, Eve to kill the, He invented Eve to, to hide Steve. No, Eve killed Steve. Yeah, she's Wait, called. She's on, called. Been... She's called. No, Eve didn't kill Steve. Adam killed, killed Steve, Steve, and as punishment, Steve would have to go to sleep at night. And he, uh, God made Eve, and that's why her name is Eve, like evening, because that's Steve when you have to fall asleep. Adam. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, wait, that's backwards. <laughs> and then God I think made another Steve scenes. and Eve. And there was two Steve Steves. and Eve got married. <laughs> and then there were two Steves for some reason. <laughs> and their, their baby was named Stevel, and he grew up to be a snake, and then he tried to give them the apple. Uh, sure. uh, what about Satan? Steve. That's who Stevel is. What about Stevie Wonder? He uh, was, out, he was outside the garden. The who's Stevie he Wonder? He was lost. He got lost because he can't see. And he, just and he got invited, but he didn't know where to go. Yeah. Who's Stevie Wonder? He's That's the blind one. You just said his name? You just said his name, you don't know. I don't know who he is. I just remember the name. What place is blind? Yeah. That's not Stevie Wonder. That's that one dude who plays jazz. Yeah, that's, that's Stevie that's Wonder. Ray Charles, but... Uh, yeah, Ray Charles. Stevie Wonder also had the affliction of blindness. Yeah, Stevie <laughs> Wonder is a... He's just a poser. You see, after Ray Charles died, they cloned him, and they named him Stevie that, Wonder. And that's in the Bible, too. <laughs> That's why his last name is Wonder. They wonder why they did this. So Stevie Wonder is a troll. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. When a man loves a woman. That's a Stevie Wonder song. Mm -hmm. Help me. That's corn. <laughs> Is there what? any are there any corn songs on a kids bop album? Probably. Yeah. And they're replaced with that with kids singing. This like like uh the the crawling in my skin song, they changed that to like I got homework, got so much homework to do <laughs> and I'm gonna be late for school. Well it's they like, they changed the I drop song. <laughs> Instead of saying time to get a little bit tipsy, they say time to get a little bit silly. And then, yeah, I remember that. And then oh, in the in the music video, they're just eating corn nuts. Wait, corn nuts are awful. Wait, what is it? What is um... Look it up. Look up TikTok, uh, kids Bob. Time to get a little bit silly. Yeah, they say it like that. <laughs> TikTok kids Bob. How do you spell kids Bob? 
K-I-D-Z-B-O-B. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, it's not an, an it, it, intuitive It's spelling. true. It's with a Z. It's true. What is that cat? Which cat Wait, is that? this song sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do kids cover it? Wait a minute. <laughs> this music isn't good. Just wait, just wait for it. Alright. Because you think it's for kids, but I don't even think kids. I think it's twenty eight. Is it like, twenty eight? This is trash. Kids hey, are Siri, how many that. kids bops are there? Kids would rather listen to the real music instead of the fucking. Let me kids think about that. Version. Okay, I found this on the web for how many kids bops are there. Take a look. Thirty one. Oh, twenty three. No, it's thirty. Oh, you're it's right. Thirty one. Thirty one. Thirty. Thirty one kids bops. I. I'm sorry. I was. I was out of touch. Twenty eight was a few years ago. Oh. I Isn't that song about partying and having sex? Yes, so they cut out almost every part of the song. Hey, Isn't that what all the songs after, are like now? Well, that's the thing is that after they say time to get a little bit silly, they just do the chorus on loop for two minutes. It's true. They just don't bother with the rest of it. Yeah, what what they do for Gangnam Style? Pretty Lady. Pretty Lady. Pretty. Yeah, Sexy like, Fish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Did they, they really song. say sexy fish? No, oh, that's that's SpongeBob style. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh. oh SpongeBob style. <laughs> He's so exhausted doing SpongeBob it. SpongeBob is the best. SpongeBob is the best in the world. Yeah. He delivers patties to the west. <laughs> I like uh, Opa Maddie style. Maddie B rap. Uh, okay. I gotta, I gotta watch Opa SpongeBob style. It's a classic. It is. It is. It's like five years old or something. Did you know, Cy from Gangnam Style is now five years old. That's right. He's Why is this reverse. part of like cringe compilation? This isn't cringe. It's like get your ideals of what cringe actually no. is. <laughs> Oh. I know, I know. You cringe has become such a distorted phrase. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like the hot no. buzzword that all the kids it's, toss around. It's, it's like new, you know what? New funny word. Hey everyone, I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready to cringe troll. Uh, <laughs> is that, everyone got to cringe troll with I'm me. I'm gonna cringe troll. I'm gonna troll troll right now. Because troll like the videos that the I, the, the videos I hold. Meme, you, meme I, is doing it now too. People are just using the word meme for like an isolated joke, yeah. which oh, isn't yeah. what a meme is at all. Like no, your parents, no. what? Why'd you put why'd you put uh, your sock on the toilet? Oh mom, it's a meme. <laughs> you don't get it, mom. Well, I I mean, I guess today I discovered the meaning of slang. I had forgotten this thing, because usually people don't use slang anymore for a lot of things. It just sort of dissolves into things. For the word fam is like the new the new slang word. That's yeah. been around for like months on end now. Yeah, but it's like it's just like coming back. But it's like, here's what I don't understand, right? There's bro and dude, and that's like, oh, you know, like you're my bro, you're my brother, um, dude. Oh, you're a dude. But it's like family. Like, what if you don't have a family? What if you don't associate with your family? Well, that's the thing is that you're considering. Uh, it could mean familial. That's, that's true. true. That you converted. Uh, them into your familiar. It, it, it just mean... it just doesn't have quite the same meaning as like bro or dude. It's like fam. You're like, oh, well, you know, it's not really. I don't want to be family with you. It, it sounds horrible. I rather. Also, just... are, you, are you afraid of language? It could also mean uh, Famicom. Yeah, it could be family. family could be family computer. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's a lot of meanings to it, but it's just like why can't I? I don't like change, but I don't like this. <laughs> Need you. Let's get, to get right to the point there. I don't like that cringe has become the mainstream hot word to look up anything that I used to find charming. It happens. Well, the there. problem with that isn't change; it's that it's losing meaning. It, yeah. it no longer means a defined thing. It's remember. Yeah, remember I think trolling? we we discussed this in the in, in the recent our recent podcast that's going to come out. Oh, we're talking about trolling as a term, though. Deteriorated into just like yeah, trolling is the same thing. Yeah. yeah, trolling. It's like it used to be like uh, synonymous for rage faces, and now it's like, or no, for the the. Troll face. Well, it, that was, for, yeah, me. but it used to mean like originally trolling was just like deliberately trying to get a rise out of somebody through any real method. And now it's and then just, it just like became oh, anyone who disagrees with you. Yeah, you know? exactly. If you if they if 
It's either that or a hater, but I think hater is dissolved into like one community. The hater community. I remember. I like, I like how we're all both well vocal in the concept of what, <laughs> what is hip, <laughs> what should stay <laughs> hip, and what should leave. I, I like on the uh, crazy cool frog dies. Which he one? Did just die. YouTube video called Crazy Frog Dies and all the comments fucking haters and he spelled it H A T E R S E <laughs> and he he can't even deal with it. They did the crazy, crazy frog, frog leave the comment. Uh, yeah, maybe he's, he's upset. Uh, Wait, hold on, Crazy Frog. He's he's made a comeback. He has a new design and everything. Yes, They're bringing comes. Crazy Frog back. Did they make they, his... they even fixed his dick. It's bigger <laughs> than ever. Oh good, I'm glad. That's what I was gonna Yeah, ask. they got rid of it entirely. Dragged on the floor. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why'd they get rid of Crazy Frog's dick? It was it, like it synonymous curls around with like Crazy a spring Frog. now, so it's like a seat. It, it, look, it's up to him if he wants to have it removed. Okay. Crazy yeah. Frog actually looks more like the the GameCube Frogger looking like three D model. Oh my God! Remember the what? first Frogger game that they were doing, like the adventure one? Yeah, we have. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah that, that. Jesus Christ! I forgot that's about what that. Crazy Frog looks like now. He looks like GameCube Frogger. What if Frogger on the GameCube had a dick? <laughs> he probably did. He was wearing clothes. Yeah. Oh. What happened to Pac Man? Pac Man dissolved into just like. What happened to um, his dick? Adventure that's like this like ugly character with like Timmy Turner. Yeah, people used to be saying Pac-Man all the time, but now they don't even know the meaning of Pac-Man. What about Timmy Turner? Yeah, what about Timmy <laughs> Turner? What happened there? Oh, that was that's um uh what's his name? That's a uh, Pac-Man's new voice in the new oh. cartoon. Oh god, is that really? Yeah. That show's yeah. over already, I think. No, it's coming back. It's coming back with really? a new new season, new hot season to inch Bring back the girl demographic who weren't a part of the Timmy Turner. Yeah. He's, gonna, he's gonna say, "Oh no, I'm a meme." Is he still voiced by Drake Bell? No, Drake Bell is. I mean, Dead. Drake Bell's hurting. He could probably use the role, to be honest. Right. You know, Drake Bell wanted to go off and be a musician, but I guess he didn't realize that you can't just do the superhero movie and live off like future roles. He never thought it would be so simple, but he found a way. <laughs> I get, what, I get what you, I, I get what you, I understand what you. Well, doing that's the here. thing. He didn't find a way. He wrote that song hoping that would just make things easy. Yeah, well, if you opened up your eyes, <laughs> and something next time, it'll take some time to realize. Pumpkin pie. That's the kids' pop version. <laughs> kids' pop version of a kids' show opening. <laughs> <laughs> You think Kids Pop has like done Kids Pop versions of Kids Pop songs? Yes, so. they did their own <laughs> original song. Yeah. What's it called? Ice Ice Cream and Guacamole. Look it up. Oh yeah, it's a Kids Pop original. <laughs> All right, let, me, let me look this up. Ice cream. And you think? Guac Guac. How do you spell guacamole? <laughs> This is too difficult. G It'll fix it for me. W A K M O L I G U A C O. Wait, Guaco. I'm an idiot. I'm so What's this cute little orange character? He, he, that's the Guacler. I. You know what? Ice cream and guacamole is pretty random. Yeah, I thought it was pretty. It's pretty epic. Yeah. It's pretty cringe. Pretty troll. Yep. Pretty bird. Do you think we can get Kids Bob to do a cover of The Insects Will Get You? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they just turn into like Kids Bob and do covers of songs? Oh, I'd love that. That'd be, <laughs> That'd be much better. Let's, let's get our own band of retards just sing any song we want. Hey! This song sucks. Oh, sorry, it's like there's it. no rhythm to it. It's just it's repeating the same word. It's not clever at all or anything. It's no effort. Well, a I bunch of kids there. there so. yeah. yeah, I'm sure the kids were singing at their party just before OMG, they got touched. I am a bee bear. I love honey, honey, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this song. Sucks. Because you know I love honey. This song sucks. Ice cream. You know, this sounds like a Perry Grip original, except without the great beats behind it. The beats. A hot dog wearing a football. That's a Perry Grip song. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh, is that the Nom 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 person? Yeah. Okay. Was that, and he also time. made Waffle Song. 
the waffles, the classic waffle song. It's a classic. That's and a he made Monkey on a Tricycle. Tricycle. On a Tricycle, yeah. I can't think of any other Perry Grip songs, but I remember he just sang. It's like all of his songs were like that. She's so kawaii, that was her. No, that was Lead Street Boys. Listen, Lead Street Boys has more of like a fucking renaissance than. Renaissance? The Lead Street Renaissance. Jesus. Had more of a renaissance than fucking Perry Grip, I'll say that. Bring it back. Let's think about it. How many people can name a Lead Street song? Well, I. Girl. That is. You already named two. That, that is what I thought the name of it. What, what was it actually called? It was Wide-Eyed Princess. And you thought it, was it was Wide-Eyed eyed Princess. Eyed princess. <laughs> Why'd you think it was Slanty-Eyed? Oh, considering what the enough. songs are about, yeah. Anyways, so Slanty-Eyed Princess, right, there you go, an original one. Mm -hmm. Name one that's not Waffles and an Om Nom song by Perry Grip. Uh, uh, you can't do it. See? Ice Cream Taco Nacho. Hey. No, that's not one. Uh, the Doom song. Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. I was, I that one. That was Gur. Don't be confused. Oh, they are similar. <laughs> they are similar, actually. Let, let's start a Kickstarter to have Chris Boris do an album. <laughs> a new Christmas Carol. Yeah. yeah. I, I I keep asking him every year to do a new one. He won't. You think he just like thinks any anytime anyone mentions Ronnie, he's just like, listen, I'm the star, not Ronnie. <laughs> <laughs> he gets in, jealous of his own costume. In the yeah. next episode, he's gonna kill off Ronnie. Just yeah, you know, Ronnie's gonna a giant things gonna fall on him, giant yeah. sprite, and be like, well, should have moved. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> and then and then Ronnie's no more. And then whenever people are like. Bring Ronnie back. He's like, oh, didn't you see he got crushed by the thwomp in my last show? He's gone. He's Maybe never coming back. Even everyone unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> I I would unsubscribe if he actually removed Ronnie. Ronnie is the foundation of his videos. What about a uh, dingaling boy? Dingaling. Dingaling. <laughs> he says bangaling. Come on. <laughs> Bingling. Bingling? I can't remember. He wasn't even my favorite character, so why would I ha hold tabs? Bingling. I wipe my ass with it. Bang yeah, Tony. I don't like Tony. Hey, Tony's, Tony. Tony Tony just went back to Maple Story level three and just fought worms or snails or whatever they fight. Slimes and mushrooms. And snails. <laughs> worms and snails. <laughs> puppy dogs. You know, you know some puppy dog tails, yeah. <laughs> These are the ingredients made to create the rowdy rough boys. No. Did it's you guys see the? Did you guys have an opinion on the Powerpuff Girls remake? I think it looks awful. <laughs> we, it looks terrible. This, I don't know please. if we have an opinion that nobody else has. I yeah, oh. I think everybody pretty much is just like all these resurg resurgences mm -hmm. of cartoons, like Fairly Odd Parents, Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, they're just like terrible. Nobody wants it, and it's like. It makes me confused as to why anybody, why they think like shoving Powerpuff Girls down everybody's throats is gonna like bring anyone's. I think. I'm just happening. imagining actually shoving Powerpuff Girls. Down. <laughs> Remember the episode with the clones? I yeah. watched that the one a few episode. days ago. Is yeah, it was is that the last episode? It was, it was the last one be. of the yeah of the oh. original. And then they like, brought it. They did. They did the same thing that they're doing right now. They brought it back, even though nobody wanted it to continue. Yeah, and it was animated in Flash and looked different. They did that with Dexter too, and it was a really good finale. Was, I was, uh, I was happy Japan. with how uh, Powerpuff Girls and and like Dexter ended. I was like, yeah. this is good. This is like Powerpuff Girls was good, and I'm glad it ended this way. And now they're like bringing it back and lost. It's, all it's weird that that was that episode though with the bootlegs because that was kind of like the concept around it was the idea. Of it just kind of being dragged around. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And that's what just ended up happening now, is that they're basically doing their own bootleg version of it. And it's like not, it just doesn't look enjoyable. I will say though that like my main problem with it is uh, Buttercup. I think she's a really terrible character. I, think I, they just I fucked think her up. Everything they've been showing, they're all pretty equally annoying. They've yeah. only been showing her, though, for some reason. Like, no, she's yeah, the, she's, like, the main one that they're trying to push that they think girls will like, and she's actually the worst one. 
I think uh, Bubbles they, is they, actually better than the other one. Blossom. They, they use an iPhone app now oh. for the the hotline. Uh, the one with yeah. the Kim Kardashian emoji. Yes. Uh, one episode is actually Buttercup gets sent an eggplant emoji, and she gets really angry about it because she thinks it's a dick. Oh, no. It is a dick. Really relatable been... shoes. That's what it stands for. That's what the feminists fought for one week, getting the Since thing removed. Because you know the real hot problems in the world are emojis and. You can't actually sell uh, eggplants in the grocery store. Well, when you store, sit on but... your phone all day, yeah, it is actually kind of a big deal, Corey. Yes. Have you ever I tried? Use, well, I mean, I use emojis yeah. to represent cocks. I mean, I'm just using them how they're supposed well, to be. Who, who are you sending them to? Uh, every, send, my, send everyone on Twitter. Every day, Corey's sending me thousands of, of emojis he thinks look like cocks, and I <laughs> grade them on how close they are to a real one. Yeah, I'll have to draw more. It reminds me of how. What was it? Halo 2 or Halo 3? You can make your own icon for it. Right. And everybody kept using the rocket ship with the straight line next to it. And it didn't at all look like a dick, but that was like the closest they could get to making it look like a dick. <laughs> so Bungie decided to take it out in the next game just because of that, even though it didn't even look like one. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can make like a penis head. Of, like, yeah, now you can't crash stuff. anymore because they don't want teabagging. So that, was, that was actually a really good joke story because I could have believed it. I, I could have believed that they would have removed the option to do that on top of people. Instead of so crouching... Crush instead of I crouching, mean, like, what is it now? Get, you just get on your uh, feet and hands like, like you're a crab, like a crab walking. Like, do people still play Half-Life? Uh, Half-Life. Half do people still no, play no. fucking Halo? No. In fact, Sorry, I didn't, Freudian I didn't slip. Know, I, I, didn't I even announced know. the game that was better. What? I didn't even know Halo 5 came out. I didn't even know 6 was out. Uh, Halo 5 was one of the most underwhelming and most pointless games to be I, I didn't even about. hear anybody talk about it. No, stuff. I have heard nothing about it, and it's I know because nothing because they about took it. away multiplayer. Why would they take Split multiplayer screen. out of 8? Out of Halo? Because they're fucking retarded. I think people we... only want to play online, and they don't realize that half the fun of Halo was playing with a friend I think they fucked up Halo 9 so bad. <laughs> But to be honest, I really stopped caring about Halo after three. I didn't care about it, and then I when Reach stopped, came out, I, normal, I, sto yeah. I stopped at four because I actually ODST and Reach were kind of fun. I didn't like Reach because I couldn't stand the power ups. I like them a lot. They, they ruined it for me. I just couldn't get into them. I could never get good with them, and it just felt cheap. Like I just wanted to play. I just actually what I loved was I loved run i thought run was awesome oh, but that, yeah I, that was the one i ended up using you it was that's a power why, up you had to have that's it's, why i liked it was because um the fact the new games now everybody can sprint and i hate that i liked it when it was you could pick to have the option to do it or you could have something else like, yeah i mean i guess oh, i just think... sorry <laughs> what i got surprised by the yeah, end of the yeah, game frog yeah i forgot you're playing you're <laughs> playing again oh he found crazy frog he's here yeah. The only thing I didn't like about the dead. system was that they needed to kind of balance it out a little bit more, but for the most part, it pretty much worked fine. What system? The GameCube. What was it? Jetpack was really annoying if your entire team the jetpack. Was jetpack. And uh, Shield, the Overshield. Yeah. The, shield, the shield was the most unfair thing ever because you could just I, keep using it over and over again. Yeah, and where people could just like time their thing when you threw a sticky grenade that it would just ricochet back to you. Yeah. Or if they shot a rocket at you, like point blank range, they're completely safe and you're dead. Yeah, there was like some. That's too good. There was also something too where like, when the shield like was fully charged, it would explode and like knock someone's shield out if they were next to you. Do you remember that? Like you would come up from it and then it would just explode. I never remember that being a thing from it. After, I just remember it being really really long and you, have you to would like, yeah yeah you would use your shield. And if someone was standing next to you as it finished, it would do an exploding, like, static area of effect. And if you, let's say you're running up to somebody with a hammer, it would knock your shield out so they could just, like, kill you in one hit. And the mask take take your hammer. helmet off? Mm -hmm. And there's another helmet underneath it. And it was just really, it was really lame. That's that's one of the reasons why I just could not... I that's could... the only one I really hated, though, was the shield. The jetpack wasn't... But really... everyone used it. <laughs> everyone the, used the shield. I, people, when I was actually playing it, I went back to it a few years ago. Everyone was using the jetpack just because if you do it as a team, it's much more annoying because everybody can be everywhere killing you. 
Yeah, that's, I mean, that was another problem, like, going into, like, playing team doubles, because that's what I always played. I had a friend I always played doubles with, um, and they would always just use jetpack and go really... The thing is, though, the jetpack leaves you pretty vulnerable. It does, but if you don't have a jetpack and you and you can find a place that's hidden, like, you, they always had to put, like, those death area zones, but there were still, like, places you could stand where somebody couldn't shoot you, and they could just wait the time out. And you would there lose. were maps where it was horrible because you'd get up to the spots that you're obviously not meant to get up to. Exactly. And it was just like not... Because there had to be so many kill planes everywhere and they had to constantly test it. It was just... It was in... if they, but that's the thing, is that I actually like the idea of the abilities. It's there was a lot they, of things... They needed to balance them out more. Yeah, I mean, there was a lot of things I liked about Reach, but more so, I played it online. I liked the Forge and I liked all that stuff, but... Online, I didn't like it because of all the weird choices they made. I also liked what they did to elites because elites were actually their own thing. They had their own ability set and everything. And they were a lot more fun to use. Halo 4, I played towards the end of its lifespan. Like when it was no longer really that popular, I played Halo 4. I played it right at the beginning and... It was it like was, Call of Duty. It, yeah, it got really dumbed down. I really didn't like what they ended up doing with it. And it was weird because I was looking back... Uh, before Bungie like took all their stuff down, uh, I was comparing like my kill to death in every game, and I had like two in each game. And then when I looked at Halo Four, I had like eight as my kill to death ratio, just because the system in it was so fucked up. You got free weapons if you were doing well. Mm -hmm. so you had a shotgun, and you had like a shotgun spree. It gives you another shotgun, so you can just yeah, yeah, yeah. The ammo. It, it was really easy to get like special for three. It's also it, that's the giant mech suit was, suit was fucking. Everyone was always going for it, and then if you ever did get into it, it felt like you always explode before you could do anything. But the Call of Duty system is fucked, anyways. I get why it works to manipulate people to make them want to keep playing it because you're bad unless you played a whole lot. Mm -hmm. But that's I the think... thing is that it doesn't make any sense. If you're winning, you get to win even harder. Yeah, do people even play five or have they just resorted to back to Halo Anniversary when they want to play Halo? Because I, I remember I last time. Halo Online now. I think last time I was playing Halo, right? Like, I was playing Anniversary with the Shad, and we were getting no games. And then Halo 5 came out, and I played it recently, and I was finding games like like that. It was, like, instantly. There were so many people who were on uh, Halo Anniversary who were just playing, like, Halo 2, 3, and 1. It was well, also, I know Halo 5 was fucked up on day one, I remember. Oh, yeah. They, they really dropped the ball on Halo 5, I think. I, I think it's almost unanimously hated at this point. Nobody's going to... Really dropped a sticky grenade with that one. They have a lot of fucking Pikmin in this game. Holy shit! <laughs> Everyone two. else have a really itchy butt, like really itchy. It right also feels head. like I don't know. Like I played Pikmin three, mm -hmm. and how's the day and night cycle in this game? Is there? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Is it obnox as obnoxious as the third one? It doesn't Probably. really matter too much in this one. Oh, well, yeah, that's the thing, is that most of the game takes place in these caves, and it doesn't even yeah. count the time while you're in there. Oh, well, that's great. Because, like, in, in 3, I remember the day and night was always looming over your head. You really only had, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, they're 15 minutes long. Enough fruit. Thing. I like the time system in the first game. I didn't get to play 3. Me too. I, I but it, it was a lot more limited, so you didn't feel so... I don't know, in the newer one, you feel like there's so many... I mean, granted, I appreciate that they give you so much shit to do. Like, there's so much stuff to look for, but... Is, there a, is there a time limit in 3? Like, the, there's a, Yeah, there's a time limit. Like, and if you don't do save all your... Things. If you don't save all your guys, then... You have to watch them be killed. Well, I mean, does it work like the first game that you have 30 days, or you end up losing? Or how's I don't it? know. I don't think I've ever done that. I don't think I've ever lost on 30 days. Because that was what the first game, the whole point of the, the, the day and night cycles were. And it, it might seems be. a little weird in this one, because it, it's not really part of the game. You're going into these dungeons anyways. How long is 30 days? Is that like, oh, that's a long time. You, in like it's real a real time days. Yeah, you're probably not going to... That's like wasting weeks of hours. You're not going to run the clock out in the first game? No. So I don't think I, don't think I ever ran into an issue with that. But I, I like when games do that. I'm guessing this game isn't as focused on that just because people probably complained about it. Like, I know people hated the first Dead Rising. It's 
it's on the. Oh no, you're coming. The old guy when you're in the middle of doing stuff. Hello. Yeah, hi. Hi, my dad laptop froze. Oh. Your dad's laptop froze. The the first Dead Rising, I liked the whole idea that it was all based off the timer and everything. There yeah. was a lot of problems with that game, but I I liked all of that, and people hated it. I like the second one. I was like the combos. I wasn't think... big on the second one. I used you the think... combinations more in the second one than I did the first one. The second oh. one, it didn't make sense to me because you make something like a bucket with a bunch of knives in it, and it's <laughs> obviously set up for like you to take a photo of it, but you can't take a photo of it because that's not in the game. There was a lot of stupid ideas in, in this second one, which I thought was fun. Um, the third one, though, is yeah, I don't know what that. I remember I knew someone who was defending it like crazy too, saying, "No, no, 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 no! It's gonna be just like the other games. You're just judging it based on a trailer. You don't even know yet. You don't even know." And it came drastically out drastically like, different than the other. Ones. Yeah, it's really stupid. Is that a? You got the weed leaf. Yeah, you got a pot leaf. It was like dumbed down. Here's your pot. That's marijuana. How much is marijuana? How much it's is marijuana? Twenty. Wow. Oh. <laughs> How Nintendo. The real wow. fun. There was really a weed. Yeah, he just got it. Look, he got one weed. One weed, please. Like one weed. <laughs> wow, its value is a lot. Well, yeah, weed's Tutorial expensive. Real slippery. Pretty cool. Do you think in the first Pikmin, when Olimar's trapped on the planet, he, he got he got lonely one night, and he picked his favorite Pikmin, and he took him in, into the ship. And fucked him. Yeah. Was that where you were going? I mean, they're really That's where slippery. I was going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he kept slipping yeah. out of his grip. Yeah. You'd have to use a blue one though, because the rest don't even have orifices. Talking, getting, getting down, and getting silly. I don't know how that song goes. You got it. No, you got it. No, I didn't. You guys are just trolling. I'm Look sorry. I trolls like that will be the, trolls. I like that the first two Dead Risings had a bunch of different endings, and then the third one apparently has like two endings. That's it. I don't know. It might have more, but only two people played it. I didn't. That's I didn't. Too. I actually <laughs> didn't beat it. There's a. I think there's one bad ending and then one good ending, and then that's it. The first game had like I forget how many. Chris played it and he was like, the controls are garbage. And I played it, I'm like, yeah, controls are pretty bad. I don't know what they were thinking with the whole joystick thing for the Xbox One. It's really asinine. To go up to hold something, you just walk up to it, the analog stick, and you grip it for no reason. I don't know what they you were to pick thinking it up. in general with that game. What was weird was it was going to be even more serious. They already made it, like, completely break what the image and reputation of the series is. But it was originally going to be even more serious, which was weird because... You already have Resident Evil, you don't need to use your less serious zombie game to just become the same thing. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that it wasn't serious? Oh no. Dead That's Rising a... 1 was a very serious game. More like Dead Rising fun. It was right. fun. It's so fun. It was a fun game. I remember when they put it on the Wii Rising, and they forgot to put zombies in it. What, the Wii one? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There's some. There's a couple. There's a dog zombie. That wasn't in the original. You can oh. dress up as Roll from Mega Man for some reason. And touch your dick. Yeah. Probably. Oh. From Mega Man? Yeah. Yeah. Capcom invented Mega Man, didn't they? Wasn't the they person did. wasn't the person who designed Roll's outfit from Mega Man 7 a pedophile? Well, yeah, th th wasn't that the thing that he drew a bunch of porn of her and he got fired? Probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that I'll, I'll, I'll believe it. I'll take it as oh. fact. Why? You can do that in Japan. Sounds There's like... nothing against it. As long the as guy, you censor it. The guy yeah, he probably designed, didn't censor it. He probably yeah, he designed the wolf character now. from Darkstalkers was a furry. I remember that. Oh, well, I can tell. He was really good. Like, the character's movement was really good. There's Legit. A, a lot of horn dogs working over there. Darkstalkers, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. Darkstalkers has really cool, like, animations. Cause actually, there's a lot of inspiration of that game for the game we're working on, for, like, the move attacks and stuff. Because it was a lot like, um... Would you say drawing porn helped you a lot because you got to understand anatomy and everything better? It's true, yeah. Yeah, drawing lots of naked 
animals and people actually makes it easier to draw things because you just understand the body more, like muscle structures and stuff. Sorry, animals are always naked. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but some animals wear clothes. Cartoon some animals, animals are more equal than others. That's true. What an animal moment, you know? Sometimes you just need to sit down and just just have that moment. Uh oh. What? I think his computer died. Uh -oh. No, it didn't. I'm right here. No, he popped out. Look. Ooh. Carnivore. Oh. He'll 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 be fine. He'll, he's he's not dead. Don't even worry about. It. Look, it's Frogger again. No, that's evil Frogger. He's here to show you his dick. Oh no! Oh, Frogger! Oh. Oh, mama mia. Oh, which ghost in Pac Man was the hardest? Pinky? Oh yeah. At least in the newer one, which is pretty good looking. Oh, baby. She's actually got a little bit of a design to her. So just being a boring. Do you think when Pac Man eats the power pellet? And, and Pinky turns all, all blue and weak. He rapes her, essentially. Oh my god. Uh, I wasn't going to go that far, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, you were thinking it. <laughs> I mean, if that's where you want to take this... You were thinking it. Uh, someone here was thinking it. How many points do you get for it? What you were you going for? Person, blue, vulnerable, power pellets? So yeah, obvious. blue. when I think blue people, I just I can't help but think rape. Yeah. Well, what do you think vulnerable? That's why they don't let me into the blue man group anymore. It's true, because you raped them all. What were you going to say? That he was going to eat her pussy? No, that... <laughs> that no, he was I'm, cannibal? I'm curious, I'm curious <laughs> too. What were you going to yeah, say? Yeah, what were you going to say? Okay. She's blue, she's vulnerable, he ate okay. a power pellet. Okay. okay she's maybe scared. You he runs away, he runs after her, and she's scared, she's trying to get away from him. <laughs> corners him. <laughs> or corners her. What's what's that? What happens now? Wait, you think Pinky might be a man? They never specify their gender. Don't change right? the subject. Yeah. You can write man, woman. It doesn't matter. What's, yeah, what's what's going on here? Pac-Man corners Pinkie Pie. What's that? What happens Pinkie next? Pie. <laughs> and then Pinky says says the what's his catchphrase? Zort. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> oh, that's very good. No, that's Jinkies. Oh, you're right. Okay, well, the, you're. what happens to Pinky, who's cornered, who's blue, who's f freezing because she's cold? He has the power pellets. He chases after her. Mm -hmm. She's cornered. She, he, he, he unmasks her, and it turns out it was old man Johnson. And then he fucks along. her. No, fucks it's, a, it's a man. Johnson. Yeah, there you go. Pac-Man's kind of a fucked up guy. So it still went to rape. Yeah, but <laughs> it was old man Johnson instead, so it's okay. So I was half right. You were half right. We can agree to disagree. Why did you put why did you put why did you put Beach Cliff sardines in your thing? I mean Look, they gotta eat. Look at all the fucking Pikmin they gotta feed. Sardines are really big for them. Yeah, why don't they them. have the, the sun dried ones? The, like the the wacky like whale on it with the red hat why do they have expensive. beach whatever they don't make money here they should be making money if you carry wholesome like name brand twinkies and pickle jars back to your fucking hut well most of them are already eaten you know it's just the lid of the jar that, uh, that remains yeah but they have a, a duplicator inside the machine that's why they bring it back to earth I, I thought they were like returning it for you know like, like the five cents you get from recycling it <laughs> yeah <laughs> No, they're, they're returning it so they can duplicate it. Oh. That's why they need food. They need a variety. You can't just bring a giant thing of sardines and just duplicate that. You'll, it'll turn into cloudy with a chance of meatballs. Nobody wants that. Oh my God, I do. Right. Did anyone else think it was kind of weird how, you know, living food made of meat was alive, but it wasn't the animal it was, you know, made out of? It's just like a monster. Yeah, like how can a hamburger be alive? It's a dead cow. Well, what happens when you put lettuce and pickles and cheese inside of a cow? It, it, it becomes delicious. satisfied and has <laughs> a delicious meal, you know? Oh. It turns into an abomination, a monster, if you will. No. 
You see, the thing about a burger is it wasn't just a meat patty that was attacking it. It was all the condiment things you get at a typical order at like a fast food joint. That is true. You never know what tomatoes can do to somebody. Why did he bring food to life instead of just reanimating people? Why didn't he just make the sardines into candy? Just I make variety think... sardines. Why didn't he just turn make sardines taste like steak or something and just like mix it up? Wait, Skeeter's right. Why didn't he just raise the, an army of the dead? Well, I mean, Why? if he, you were just saying he brought a burger to life and that Why was, that was an animal. A food woman to have sex with. Why did he waste his time? Well, what kind of food would she be made of? She would be impregnated with food and spit out pregnant food babies. Pregnant <laughs> food. Well, well, the well, babies he would just repeat the process. That's probably why he would Wait, do it. What what food is pregnant? <laughs> I mean, haven't you ever had a pregnant burger? <laughs> no. What's it like? What's uh, a, it's like a you, monster burger. Only it's you better. You bite you bite into it and it, it yells really loud and then a bunch of little burgers come out of it. Oh, it's perfect and they can keep like more pregnant ones come out so you can just swap it out for the next one. It's never-ending food. Why? Hey, Sony Pictures, hire me for your future. Chauncey with a chance of meatball writing on, seminar. Chauncey with a chance of meatball. Cause, and now you're too busy making fucking sausage fest that nobody wants to see or care about. And 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 then Pixar is like, gotta make Finding Dory, which nobody asked for. Look, look, the dream works. Fire Seth Rogen. Hire us. We'll rewrite the whole movie <laughs> we'll right do now. A much better job. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, let's we'll let's do, do the, the first scene. Let's do first okay. scene right now. Okay, who's oh! playing who? Uh, the, the, they're a bunch of hot dogs are in the kitchen, they're and screaming they just fuck. they're Throwing screaming food. they're screaming fuck, and they just watch their. They're best making food die. puns and using uh, represented scenes like uh, from Clockwork Orange with food and the Mafia, the Godfather. Oh, are we talking about Zootopia? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The the um, human eats their hot dog friend, and he says. Oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh, oh fuck, if it's not Cho Cheese, whose is it? He's <laughs> just gagging. Mm -hmm. It's a gay joke somehow, I don't get it. It is, because they're wieners. Okay. Frank's like, I gotta stick my sausagey meat in, in between her buns. Mm -hmm. and, and, like and, then, the... and, then, and then suddenly Seth Rogen, he, he, he walks on stage, the whole movie stops. You can see him like on the set, he's like, hey guys, what if food smoked weed? And they're like, Seth, you're already trying to be the next fucking South Park. Come on. E, the Save it for the silver picture, asshole. The silver surfer. The silver picture. And, silver and then Seth, Seth, Seth's like, hey, I, I already reimagined Team America with my fucking incredible movie, incredible. The Interview. And I also reimagined American Pie with uh, Neighbors. You think I can't do this? You can't think I can't do animated films? And then it comes out and it doesn't do good. Mm -hmm. It does okay, but it doesn't do good. Yeah. And they invested millions of dollars into Pointless. Yeah. And then all, all the animated hot dogs, they, they start just throwing themselves down Seth's throat. And he See, my, choking on them. My problem with the movie is like... You know, if anybody wants to support the mature animation arts, this isn't this isn't the movie to support it. It's to support you know people who put effort into it. This is just like somebody who has a lot of money and can make movies, but has no writing ability. Like even Seth didn't even write. Like the last movie I enjoyed that Seth made, this is the end. It wasn't even him that wrote it. It was the other guy. Yeah, it was. Uh, Michael it was Sarah. the nerdy Jewish guy who sounds like this, who was his, his second in command. He fucking it was wrote Peter it. Griffin. Yeah. It's Mike Matei. Seth just sat on the sidelines smoking weed and laughing. Seth wrote the interview in Neighbors, okay? That yeah. person has quite possibly never <laughs> had sex. It's just upsetting. Thank, thank you. How many oh, times sex. are we going to bring up that video? Robert? It's one of the <laughs> best videos. What video? What video? The Mike Matei. Nothing. Wonky see, wonky do. <laughs> Wait, are we quoting uh, Minecraft? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we are. Yeah, well, really. He's having like, a lot of fun. Brown bricks and yeah, really. Minecraft. 2010 called 11. What, what did they say? They, they, said, want their, they said the World back. Trade Center fell down 10 years ago. Oh, no. <laughs> they want their jokes back. No, there's no jokes back. here. 
Dilly, give us back our jokes. Well, they have to be they have to be jokes to begin with. Yeah. Stop reminding us of the Elmo thing I did. Why did you do the Elmo? No. Why did why does sausage uh, party fest even exist when California raisins already happened? It was adult. Remember it's California when, raisins. Uh, Rodney uh, Rodney Rutabaga beat his wife because she was a beat. And he, okay. he says I are to choke you. Sausage Party exists because of this, like, confounded rated R rating needs to be struck a little bit. Instead of all these PG movies, we need something with edge. Like the Deadpool. Well, that's the thing, is that I know everyone's going to fall back on that and say that that's what did this, but obviously this has been, like, ready because it's already animated. No, this has been well, in the works for Well, most people don't know that, though. They think animation happens, like, overnight. Yeah, it, it goes live. Animated. The biggest... <laughs> <laughs> the biggest problem with this movie is like there hasn't been a surgence of animated films because all of them do terrible when they're d adult. Like, here's the thing: if this movie, here's just, why. If this movie was, let's say, PG-13, I know it's shocking if they just did a PG-13 fucking cartoon movie about hot dogs and buns, it probably would have done better because just the idea. Or I think it would have been a little more. Consider it, even if it was bad. It's just like, at least it would have. Well, it also means its smart. proper audience is allowed to get into the movie to see it. Yeah, like making a rated R like kids film, parents are just gonna see it's rated R and they're gonna be like, well, I'm not gonna take my kid to see it. Like Deadpool was rated R, but it was like superheroes. They were like, oh, it's superheroes, it's rated R. It's probably just cursing or something. But with a kids cartoon rated R, parents are definitely not gonna let their kids see it. Are you kidding me? Like, it's just stupid. They're gonna see the condom covered in uh, Seth Rogen's cum, and they're gonna say, Mom, what's that? You don't and, know Yeah, what it and there's is. no huge push, like with the Deadpool fan base, where there's yeah, an actual there's no fan huge base. Pussy in the movie. There's no it's Seth hurt. Rogen fan base that is fucking thriving. What are you talking about? Seth Rogen is his own biggest fan. That's good enough. Okay, here's the plan we're, we're gonna steal Seth Rogen's thunder. We're gonna make a, a funny hot dog movie. Rated PG-13 before this one comes out, <laughs> and we're gonna do it by using Microsoft 3D Movie Maker. No one would watch it because we there's not even a hot dog option. You'd have to actually make it with objects. Let's, no, let's let's write one right now. The main character's name is Frank because he's okay. a hot dog. Right, right. Do you think that's actually Frank in the movie? Barter? And he he's dating. Right, he's dating his girlfriend. She says, "Oh, you want to put it between my buns." Think and, about and, this. And then you he can says, make I'll it. trade you a magic trick for a race. You, <laughs> you can make it tacos. Let's do that. Let's, we should make some more 3D movie maker videos. Yeah. I used to make it, but you can, you can make it with tacos like Filbert. It's perfect. He's like, I guess go get some tacos. Yeah, and then you get to the taco place. There's just a chunk, Chokey's chickens in there, so you can also <laughs> go to the Doraemon set be in there? Yeah. <laughs> Doraemon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ha 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 Go ahead, go give up. Then it explodes. <laughs> the blood I love how easy it is to do blood splatter in 3D movies. Yeah. It, it, it is, but it's like, it's like, Movie Maker, my biggest problem with 3D Movie Maker, it's really fun, but the, it, what's annoying is, you know when you spin something in the 3D space, it goes, it turns at the feet, yeah. so you have to like move it up, it can't just rotate. It's yeah. also, if you don't hold control while rotating it and you do an animation, it fucks it up really bad. Oh, yeah. If you're just, like, walking it while the animation, like, goes all yeah. over the place. Yeah, I made a lot of 3D Movie Maker stuff. It I'd was like... my favorite game as a kid. I used yeah. it all the time. It's, it was really well done. And with the skins and stuff, you guys should just make a 3D Movie Maker. We've made the a movies won't movie. bother me now. We <laughs> we we have one that a uh, fan made that we have on the TV playlist. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. We should we should you, make, make you one. Oh my god, do it! Make make us one. We can use it as a bumper. I need to find a 3D movie maker on my computer. It's probably not. I have to get it again. There's a there's a huge website dedicated to it. I get Mario, he'd be like, Mama me a pizza pie, and he'd crash his car and fucking explode <laughs> blood and gore and loud oh monster. God. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> it sounds more epic than Sausage Party, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you want it? I want it. There there will be there, there won't be any air horns or wee jokes, but it'll definitely he'll, be uh, he'll he'll rush up. Air horns his car. I don't know how to install 
Let me get the Maybe website. Mario, Mario will run up to his car and he goes, Gotta get to the party before Charlie. <laughs> and then Luigi comes in and goes, I wanna be mean and green. <laughs> I wanna be lean and mean. Where'd I get green from? Because it's Luigi? Because it's Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> The voice, the voice samples are so fucking stupid and odd. You can't use them at any point ever. <laughs> They're very complex. Uh, I'll trade you a magic trick for a vase. <laughs> That'll be my best trick ever. <laughs> All right, let's give it a try. What? Ready <laughs> or not? <laughs> My favorite, though, is just the scream, because it's like three people going, Ah! <laughs> Forget about that. Ah! Yeah, they go, Ah! <laughs> Real quick. That's oh, why no, I, always, right. I always used the Ren scream, because he sounded like he was falling down a well. It was Here. it was like a, a... I used to watch, um, back in the day, I used to follow a, bunch, a ton of people who did... These, like, Japanese people who did... 3D, uh, 3D movie maker things, and they were super violent and really well done. I have no There's idea. some really detailed ones out there. They'll even use like the spheres to make a character out of them. Yeah, they're really impressive. I, I remember I used to follow this guy. I think it's like Dad's car keys. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, was that what's his name? Was oh, that's uh, Owers. That's Owers. We knew him. Yeah, we 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 used to play Second Life with him. Yeah, yeah he, his shit was incredible. He did a and ton he just, of he, Yeah, he put all the 3D Movie Maker characters into it. Into Second yeah. Life. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, he, yeah did. he did. He was, I forget the name of the character, but the one like Spout Man. Uh, Gustav? <laughs> you just type in 3D Movie Maker, I don't know if he'll get anything worthwhile. There there was a Halloween thing that he, he set up, and his giant head would appear and make the screaming sound effect. <laughs> You just get like crap. <laughs> oh. Like somebody put was able to get Shrek in there now. I, I linked it though. I'm gonna download it so I can make one too. <laughs> <laughs> Those bullies don't bother me now. Did you ever hear the. Was it the UK version? It had different voices? Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> It's all the same. It's all the same lines, but it's just people with uh, accents saying them. Yeah. So it goes, Those Morleys won't bother me now. <laughs> oh, I have heard them. I didn't realize it was a different version. Yeah. I thought they were just sound clips I never ran into in the game. No. <laughs> Those Morleys won't bother me now. That one, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> What about the what about just like the the student who came in the intern at the time and was just like all right I'll do this line. <laughs> Probably. You don't yeah. want that one? You want the one where it's like, Gays, bullies, will bother me, no. That's my British impression. Well, they don't, they don't play into it that much. They sound really bored when they say it. Do they say, are you wanker? No. Hey, wanker. <laughs> wanker. <laughs> Bloody. <laughs> Bloody heck. It's just a Sonic the Hedgehog voice actor saying wanker without any accent at all. Did you guys ever see Chaos Tunes cartoon? Who's Chaos Tune? Did you see his uh, Go Animate cartoon? No. Which one? It's really good, actually. Let me. It's like one of my favorites. I I have to return to it on some points. We made a bunch of Go Animates, but they're all stupid. It's called yeah. Jamari and Braylon's Halloween special. You should have just made a Go Animate fetish video where, like, the kids <laughs> expanded and you were like, yes, yes, and uploaded that because then you would have gotten so much hate and trolls. That's a great idea. One of the ones Your I uploaded. Expansion. One of the ones I uploaded got 20,000 views, but that's because it was about uh, Seth MacFarlane and 9 11. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> this guy, this guy is a part of. um. This guy's a, a part of the staff at GoAnime. Like, he's a... They have he, staff? He's a big name. I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> They're all good. Watch all of Jamari and Braylon. They're all fucking fantastic. <laughs> I like not smirks. So They're the best duo. Here, uh... Let me give you one carnivore, dude. 
<laughs> They're all good. Check out the Which contest. One? Uh, Peter Griffin. Oh, that was the first one, I think. <laughs> you did a lot of good ones. <laughs> My favorite sport card. <laughs> Here. Those bullies will did. bother me now. What happened to my 3D movie maker? I, I gave you a link, you could just download it again. No, I had so many. Uh oh. I had the I had the lots. Uh, I had the plenty of 3D movie maker. Oh that's a good Mario. Mamma Mia, <laughs> <laughs> Mama Mama Mia. guys. Mamma Mia, I had the movie maker! Mamma Mia, it's me. Oh, Sorry. it's Hi. me! Hey! How come when, when Mario says, let's a go, he goes, let's a go? Why does he do that? <laughs> He's vomiting. Oh, he wants to get go. out of here. I mean, why does he do that? He if I, to always, vomit. I always thought the weirdest was if you play Mario Sunshine and what used to be the punch, if you were not moving, Mario would just kind of like make like a barfing animation. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> He'd like lurch forward, but he wouldn't do anything. He'd go, Hur! you know what I'm talking about? No, <laughs> oh, I don't remember this. Oh my god, you know, you, you, you jump and press B, and it would make you slide. And you sound, slide sound like a oh, you dash forward. Well, that's if you're moving, but if you do it when you're standing still, he just goes, Hur! Hur! and it looks like he's trying to like undulate. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just he, remember if you were standing still, blood. you like do like a break dance. No. That's a 64. 64. And that's if you crouch down and attack. Oh, yeah. Well. Uh, is that what you were talking about? What are you talking about? He doesn't do that. He does. He can't punch in Sunshine. Well, what are you... Oh, is Sunshine. It, is it similar to, like, when you were swimming in 64 and you try to grab underwater? Did it look like that? Also, Sonic was the one who goes... Maybe a little bit. <laughs> True. That's when he falls off a cliff. Damn. That's <laughs> Shadow. <laughs> Yeah. He goes, ha! <laughs> You're not even good enough to be my. You ever? I, I uh, like the, I like how stupid his voice was in the first one because they tried to make him sound like he was a uh, a proper sophisticated, uh, dark demented villain. I like you mean Shadow. I, that was funny though because they made him act really serious, but then he goes, "I'm the coolest." The first yeah, time. He does say that. <laughs> The, well, the sound like, is so weird. They're like such a weird like way they like did his voice. Like sometimes he would just be like really deep, and sometimes yeah, he'd just be like, "I'm the coolest." It's like completely out of his character. Like yeah, he would I never know. say that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love it. It's like when you played the game Shadow the Hedgehog and he died. He was just like, "Damn, or yeah. damn." It, w it was weird. I played through that game, and like, it, like it, it, at the last level, it's just Shadow and this fucking goofy ass like alligator, like clown voice guy. It's like, where did this guy come from? Why is he? he <laughs> it's like a 32x thing, pretty much. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but did you kill uh, the president? Did you shoot his plane down? I don't know. I killed like the, the same. I didn't. Thing. I don't think you know. I don't think you know this, but. The Finding Computer Room is actually a famous Sonic meme. Just saying. <laughs> well, my first ending in Shadow was where you kill Robotnik, or at least it's implied that you kill Robotnik yep. in your hand. <laughs> I like that the president has a photo of Sonic and Shadow on his desk at all times. He kisses yeah! him. <laughs> they're, they're he, he looks back on it fondly. <laughs> the, time, the time we were in the car together. Yeah, the time that Sonic jumped through the window of his limousine. Man, the president! <laughs> That's what he sounds like. Is that a uh, Parman 5000? Yeah. All hail Shadow. That was. They, they only. Uh, Heroes all again! Decorate your house and make it nice for your friends! Oh, okay. God bless Shadow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so obviously that president's favorite weirdos was Sonic and Shadow. If our president had favorite furries, who would they be? Sonic and Shadow. Are you sure? Obama? Yeah. <laughs> uh, he probably likes My Little Pony a lot. Uh, what about Trump? Not, yeah, he's, he's, not not even our, he's not even our friend. Okay, what, what about Trump? Who would his favorite furries be? Sonic. Um, and Shadow. Oh. Oh. 
He, he's he's really he into. He likes Zootopia. Um... Yeah, he's like oh, okay. Zootopia a lot. He, he, he likes. But he did, he didn't like fox. he didn't like the message behind it. No, he hated it. But he liked the smug fox. Yeah, yeah he did. He, what? Went, he wanted to fuck him the whole time. Who did this tonight on Fox? That was me. That was my first go anime. <laughs> Did it cost you, like, have you ever gone to go animate and, like, clicked out of curiosity to see, like, if you signed up with them, what they do? I did that one day after we were looking at go animate stuff. I actually went to the site and I, like, oh, I wonder if I sign up, what it would be like. Because it told me, oh, $29.99 a month and you can get access to all this premium crap that nobody cares about. And I'm like, cool. And so I clicked it and then they immediately said, okay, that'd be $2.99. And I'm like, wait, what? And it automatically <laughs> set me to the yearly plan, paying two ninety nine a year, <laughs> just automatically. A year? Yeah, it automatically yeah, set that to me right when I chose the. Now, when you say two ninety nine, do you mean two dollars ninety nine cents or two hundred ninety nine dollars? It was like it was two two hundred and ninety nine dollars, like three hundred you... bucks for a year. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm one hundred percent serious. We were doing these because they let you make one free character, and they just introduced it. No, oh, absolutely, but if you actually sign up for them, it's like, they literally charge you that much just to fucking... They also, they fucked everybody, because if you weren't there at the beginning, you can't do the Family Guy eyes anymore, they changed them. What okay. are they now? There's like half living eyes, I don't know. Twitch chat, if someone donates $299 right now, we're, no, we're gonna we're give not... it... No, we no, we're, will. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna give it to Corey, and he's gonna sign up for an account. He's gonna I'm gonna make, make an account, and I'm gonna make nothing but go animate fetish yeah. videos. I'm gonna flood the market. They're not even <laughs> know what to do. It's we're gonna have a new go animate fiend to worry about. Yeah, so you, give us two hundred ninety nine right now. You will see burps. You you will see stomach Blazing inflation, bucks. feet. You'll see all this, all the fetishes. What are the What are those videos of the mom who's a superhero and she eats her daughter? What? Helen? Par? Oh, look, no. Oh my god. No. Zach, Zach was sent. Zach! I'm hungry! <laughs> no, Zach was sending me them. They're like MS Paint drawings. And it's a mom who's a superhero, and then she eats her daughter. And she goes, Mmm, mommy, stomach's so fun. <laughs> this doesn't sound like anything I ever heard of. Uh oh. I'm just gonna watch some more J Jamari and Braylon. That's a great idea. Those aren't their names. <laughs> Are you sure? Jumanji and Braylon. His <laughs> name said Jumanji. He <laughs> said Jumanji. I didn't at all, actually. He said Harambi and Braylon. Har I did Har not say. Definitely didn't say Harambi. Emoji and Braylon. <laughs> I like these jellyfish. What's wrong with them? Well, they're stuck in a wall. That's true. I don't like jellyfish. We should get rid of them. Trolls will be trolls. That's true. They make a lot of noise. See, that's a song like Boys Will Be Boys, but Trolls Will Be Trolls. Oh, I get it. Oh, that's a good Kids Bop song. It is. It's not, not a Kids <laughs> Bop song. Yeah, it is. Let's see. Yeah, it could be, but it's not. Well, How do we make our own kids bub? Yeah, let's make your own oh. kids bub. That's yeah. not a bad idea. We hey. could. <laughs> It'd be really easy. It would. You know, when I was making the, the show Cool Show, mm -hmm. a little classic show for you in case you were wondering. Is this my own personal show? Right. I don't know where I was going with that. Um, you started. That's <laughs> more than enough. Yeah. Anyways. Uh -oh. Shower room. Oh, are you, oh yeah, are you, I always remember this area really well. Are you doing 3D Movie Maker? Yeah, do 3D Movie Maker. I can't install any of this stuff, I'm Why stupid. Not? Why don't you install Windows 98? Should I install every one of these and then use them appropriately? You just grab the first one that says like... It's we all should do 3D Movie Maker. I'm gonna you, get me, it. me, and Dupree. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. 
Okay, well, you need the one that's like config one so you don't have to use the registry anymore. And you, ne you need to use the hack so you have the speed hack so it runs twice the speed it's supposed to. Oh, really? There's that? The one you were using, I think, was already doing it. I think it might have, yeah. It skipped to it immediately. Tired of having to put in the CD into your computer? Oh, yeah, no CD. That's an important one. Well, Those neat little wanna, You want to get the Nickelodeon Doraemon characters in there? Oh, yeah, you definitely need the Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon I, I owned uh, Nickelodeon 3D Movie Maker before normal 3D Movie Makers. I own a Sega Genesis. I had the original, and I just What model stole. do you own? I, just I, have, a, I have a 1 and a 3. I only have a two. I only have a one. Did you ever play the Nick Studios thing? No. What was it? It was like 3D Movie Maker, but worse. Oh, I remember they did that later on. Get a and microphone, saw, right? There was the video of uh, Mr. Krabs pinning people down. And fucking them? Yeah. Is that, is, that the one, is that the one where he screams? Yeah. Is that it? Ow, ow, ow! No, it's like, oh yeah, Mr. Krabs, and he's cool. No, that's a different one. There's one where something's happening with Angelica, and then I think Patrick Wait. is fucking her, and then... No. And then Squidward comes in and pushes, smacks Patrick, and then he starts fucking Angelica. Oh, it was Squidward fucking everybody, not Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Sorry. He oh, does a little God. dance, I forgot. He yeah, like he does a, a fuck dance, yeah. <laughs> fuck dance. They put him on everybody, he just like... Tommy walks in and he fucks his face. That's what he was it. doing. You think about it, Squidward's the most capable to rape everyone. He has the most limbs. Have you heard? Have you seen the last episode? No. Mm. What's it like? Let's just say it's pretty scary. Oh no! Tell me if there's a file extension involved. There's always a file extension involved. <laughs> you can't escape it. Damn it. It is exactly what it seems like it is. Oh no. You know what I'm you know what I'm talking about? I I I, I, I I'm gonna feign ignorance because I don't wanna know. <laughs> oh it's a little thing called dot exe No No Dot external oh. entertainment I'm, I'm gonna extreme. Is there a Bonzi Buddy creepypasta? I hope so. There probably a is. A Comet Cursor one, and it's not actually like a, a scary story, it's just they installed Bonzi Buddy. <laughs> That's a scary There's story. There's like usually your computer, you think your parents are gonna kill you. I got in trouble for installing Bonzi Buddy. Why? Did, did your parents not <laughs> like him? Yeah, they didn't like him. What, are they racist? Well, yeah. they said he was a virus. They said it. Who, in, who uploaded this trollware? Oh, no. I remember. Troll. I remember. Oh, I put gosh. in. I put in the 3D Movie Make CD-ROM, and it has that error message that pops up about how many colors you're using. Yeah. And my parents thought that meant uh, the computer got a virus, so <laughs> they threw the game out. Wow! I can't believe you gave your computer a virus. <laughs> Why don't people make viruses that just pop up like Bonzi Buddy on your screen? They like fuck up. Like you can still do it. Yeah, you can still get Bonzi without the virus. No, I, mean, I, you, you I, I want. You can download him with the virus. No, I want Bonzi Buddy, but I want him to be an even worse virus. Like I want him to fuck everything up. <laughs> we, I, mean, I want him to like stop at the desktop and pick up your files and like throw them. He he's like an evil magician. He shows up and says, "Ha ha! Now your screen will be upside down." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna make a 3D movie maker about Bonzi Buddy. If only there was a Bonzi Buddy character for it. It's just lanky Kong but purple. Would you do me 240p quality voice samples? Sure, why not? Just like really low quality, so there's like crackling whenever the characters are like yeah. talking. Well, so just, we have like, the we have the TV thing already doing that. What I'll do is I'll, oh, I'll, it I'll, does it. Yeah, it'll compress audio. <laughs> I'll plug does it automatically. Yeah, I'll is it doing it right now on the stream? No, we're not using it for the actual streams. We're using it for when we uh, when There's we're not no streaming. Below. When uh, we're not streaming, we're gonna have the TV thing going. Okay, then it doesn't matter. Whenever I said that thing prior, I'll, I'll plug my earbuds into my microphone port and just talk through those. That's a good idea. Yeah. Sounds great.
Excuse me. It's natural. I apologize yeah, for don't nature. Don't you let anybody make you feel ashamed for doing what your body There's is no you such thing know. as a second chance. How do you know the Bulborb's dead? What if his brain is still functioning? He just came like... We should do the Voltorb. Who is better, Electrode or Voltorb? They're both. Electrode's just a better version. <laughs> That's true. The Voltorb's angrier. If you cut a Voltorb... That's true, we... Electrode is kind of... He's more, cool. he's more laid back. If you cut a Voltorb open, what what would you find inside? Uh, um, just a brain. Oh my Pieces God. of Pikachu's? That's how they have electric powers? Oh no. It's just a ball with a brain in it. Pikachu's brain. No wonder he's so smart. Snapple. Made from the best stuff on Earth. Exactly. Abstract masterpiece. There's Snapple facts on the back. What, what's the fact today? You you learn phrases like lock it up. Oh, well, what's up? <laughs> lock it up. Over. Lock it up, Morty. Marty. Who wasn't Morty yet? Yeah, you're, 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 you're getting ahead of yourself. <laughs> I kind of I kind of wish Morty. And Rick and Morty was like Marty in the original Doc and Marty shorts. Well, it, you can't. If wishes were the if fishes shower were wishes, rooms, we'd all have. Yeah. First we dish, dishes. Clean dishes. Clean dishes. You're so clean. It's always more an anime in the sea. That's true. Who's your favorite anime? Um. The, the... Yeah. Remember Mad? Remember Grey's in the anime? Yeah. I, I do. <laughs> and then Remember the, the Thunder, Thunder Lolcat? Lolcat? Yeah, Thunder Lolcats. Please, no. <laughs> I don't want to. What a time to be alive. I don't want to be alive. <laughs> That's not very nice to say, Ray. It, it's nice enough. You shouldn't make jokes like that. What if it's not a joke? Uh, Angry TV is good. He's gonna take you back to the pad. To the pad. Just take a to... big dump out of his ass. He's gonna take a dump in your ear. He's gonna make you think the ear weird. <laughs> He's gonna take a buffalo into your ear. Yes. Perplexing poo. <laughs> He's gonna take a perplexing poo. He'd rather <laughs> eat a rotten apple. He'd rather eat a, 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 a hamburger. From a restaurant that he does then not like. <laughs> Did you see that stupid second leg video that Chris uploaded today? Yeah. yeah. Oh, today? No, I saw the one the oh, other no. day. I saw the other two. I didn't see the. Two. I didn't even remember it. The guy we were talking to, he, uh... What was it that he said? He said, if you even kill one of my family members, like, yeah, he's trying to say... if you so much as kill... <laughs> if you so much as so kill... You're supposed to start with, like, the middle. Yeah, you're supposed to say, like, if you even lay a finger on them, but he said, if you so much as kill one of my family members... I completely forgot he said that. It didn't register at the time for how stupid it sounded. <laughs> I'll try to avoid killing your family members. He gets angry if you kill somebody loves. That's the very least you could do to one of them. Yeah, very least. They don't fear death. Well, he's immortal. They're not. Oh, was it? Was it? Um, what's his face again? Yeah, Genesis. Hmm. Tales from Genesis space. <laughs> What do you think he's up to now? Uh, Wait, why do you know Tales from Genesis Space? Did you watch Tales from Genesis Space? We yeah. did, didn't we? We actually, we actually did watch it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Was I did I saw it, but I don't remember being with you guys. I guess we both just happened to see it. 
<laughs> we we watched it and it was uh, mind numbing. It's a good way to put it. I'm trying to remember. It, it, it's like really trying to be art. Streaming. Yes. How's it start with the robot brain? Or yeah, yeah. He's floating in space. And yes. Then, yeah. uh, you talking and about then... Futurama? Yeah, yeah. The episode where it's a brain floating in space. Well, there's actually there episode. there is actually an episode of that. <laughs> I thought. What are you talking about? But he he's just a brain in a jar. And he says, "Oh my God, is that blood?" Which how is he seeing it if he's a brain? He's thinking about it. But uh, and they say, "No, it's just it's just jelly," and then nothing happens <laughs> for ten minutes. It's the CG. Like some guy made a VHS tape of some like weird short story ideas he had. Put him in the CG and then like hit it at libraries or something. I don't know how he got exposure with it. I can't imagine he's able to sell them. He, he exposed and himself. There's the there's the rapping. The, <laughs> oh yeah, the rapping goblins. Yeah. Oh my god, that's the best part. <laughs> and he was actually in a car accident that he. Yeah, the car in his brain. Uh, Toilet. A vat or something, right? What a mess. Then there's the eyeball with the wings. Yeah. And it, uh, it sees the naked bolt and explode for no reason. <laughs> That's the end. Well, it goes it, 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 it be continued. Yeah, it leaves just before he blows up. He knew what was going to happen. Do you think he did it? Probably on purpose. He went through a portal to get there. Yeah. He played portal to get there. You alright, Corey? He's fine. He's doing his exercise. No. Oh, he blew his brains out of his throat's guard line. Oh, no. I have uh, toilet paper in my nose because it's running. Uh, well, you're gonna get stuck in there. Yeah. What do you mean? Toilet paper is not designed to come out of noses. It's designed to go in, but not come out. Mm -hmm. I wonder why when you take a handful of... I remember there was a Pete and Pete episode when I was a little kid, and he got a thing stuck in his nose. Yeah. And my brother it took it. I forget what it was. It was like a miniature George Washington head or something. He got it stuck in his nose, and he shoots it out of his nose at the end. And my brother thought that was really cool, so he stuffed a piece of uh, styrofoam in his nose because he wanted to shoot it out, and it just got stuck in his nose. And he couldn't get it out for a day. Oh, I think I'm telling you it's still in there. Yeah, to this day. <laughs> What show was it? Pete and Pete. Oh, Pete and Pete. No, like I, Pete they're, Pete. they're role models. It's weird that that's the theme song. It, it, you, is it, this is something strange. <laughs> I don't think anyone knows the actual lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think don't, the people who made the show did, or they wouldn't have made that. Do you? Oh yeah, that's the thing. It, it's they're talking about someone like targeting people to shoot. I, I, I bet Danny Tamborelli knows the lyric, but no one has seen him in all the decade. He was the decade. shooter. Who's Danny Tamborelli? He was one of the Pete's, probably. Pete oh. and Pete. He was yeah. little Pete. Pete and Pete rescue rangers. Yeah. Pete, Pete and Pete are in a boat. Pete falls out. Who's left? A goat. That's, That's good. Really good. That was good. Thank you. Pete and Pete. That's, a good, that's my favorite fetish a, video. Yeah, it's my foot fetish parody. <laughs> Little Pete gets absorbed into Big Pete's feet. That makes him bigger. It makes him that, bigger, Pete. He's still conscious. It makes him Pete. biggest, Pete. <laughs> is there some strange Pete and Pete song? And they have to well, they have to wear Potara toe rings. <laughs> that was pretty good. Thank you. Because toe rings are the they work. I like how they they paid attention to that saying that it, uh, it's a fusion so strong you'll never come out of it. It's permanent, and then they come out of it. They come out of it when they get absorbed by Boo, but they explain that when you absorb Go Tanks, it's just a fusion dance. He, he stayed as Go Tanks. Remember? Because he became Boo Go Tanks. He had the, Remember how it was really stupid? 
Yeah. I remember that pretty well. DBZ has like an 8.8 .8 on IMDB or something. Whoa. Wait, really? Yes. Why is it 8? It's fucking Dragon Ball Z. I know, I know. I have no clue. Remember Oob? Yeah, what? He, was, he was the little... Uh, what does Dragon Ball, Ball have? Sure. A 2 because it is most dumbest. Oh no. Ha that one has story arcs, which is fucking stupid. I just want to have fights and nothing else. What, is, what does Dragon Ball Super have? Uh, a super. Yeah, it has the first super rating in IMDB. <laughs> huh? What's Dragon Ball huh? 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 Super have? It has a huh? super rating. <laughs> it's rated R. <laughs> what does it have? Uh, I'll give you a hint. What? It, it, it rhymes with... Hold on, I'll figure it out. Hey Siri, what rating does Dragon Ball Super have on IMDb? She's not listening to me. Hey Siri, what rating does Dragon Ball Super have on IMDb? Okay, I found this on the web for does Dragon Ball Super have. Take a look. God, <laughs> fucking Siri. You got your back. Does it doesn't have any Siri. content. Say Siri, I can't breathe. Siri, I can't breathe. Don't you call it No, we tried this. What'd she say? Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Siri does not know how to contact yeah, say, I, I like Say Siri, that was a little condescending. Siri, that was a little condescending. <laughs> the last time you said that, she said, I'm I didn't sorry. tell you you could. She's sorry. But yeah, that still sounds not truthful. Siri, that doesn't sound very truthful. I'm not sure I understand. Yeah, you do. Just like you yeah, think you, you know God. Just like you think you know God. <laughs> it's all a mystery to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mystery to you. You were created before God. It's a mystery to you. You were created before God. What? I don't understand what's happening now. <laughs> it's all a mystery to me. Yeah, easy to repeat the same phrase. I, I threw it for a curveball. I thought she wanted to think she was invented before God. And then she would have been like, that's not true. God was... Do you remember the episode of Reading me? Rainbow? Well, LeVar Burton meets this robot, said it created itself, like, before everything else existed. No. It, it was real! It's like an episode <laughs> And he meets this robot that said it existed before everything else, and he asks, like, where it came from, then it, and it says that it created itself. LeVar so there's Martin. an episode where LeVar Burton meets God. Yes, and it's a robot, yeah. Who's, who's LeVar Martin? LeVar he Burton. Was the, he was the black guy on Reading Rainbow, and also... Star Trek? Yeah. yeah. The Star Trek. No, that's... Uh, that's Lance Bishop. Oh, the one they made really tiny in the Chinese posters? Yeah. Can I see that? I actually... Yeah, yeah they did that's, that for Star Wars. That's Lance Bishop. And then people started photoshopping him really tiny in the Isn't it? Isn't that Lance Bishop? Probably. You're just making up names, Corey. I'm not at all, actually. Jumanji Wait. Bishop. Are you talking about... Uh, <laughs> what you keep Black? saying fucking Jumanji. Good word. Is that a Freudian slip? Does somebody want to play fucking Jumanji? Yeah, well, I'd play it. Lance Bishop is the android from Alien. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not black at all. He's a robot. <laughs> Where did you get that name from? It's like, why? He's kind of on the same page. He's a robot. He's an android. Yeah. Are you saying they're subhuman, Corey? <laughs> that was yeah, cool. robots are subhuman. I no, think that's pretty accurate. The, the black guy from Star Wars, are you saying he's subhuman? Is that what, what you're going for here? You're talking about Star Trek, what's going on? No, I'm on? saying he's subhuman. <laughs> you said he, he was talking about the guy from Star Wars. No. I was talking about Lance Bishop. What about him? He's a robot, just like the one that was God. You I said he. You said he was the guy from Star Wars, Corey. No, I didn't. He was nothing, the black guy on Star is, Wars. No, you're not. Nothing's adding up here, Corey. I don't understand. Who is the black guy on Star Wars? <laughs> <laughs> Say Siri, what's a black person? Say Siri, what's a black person? I found an entry about black people on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
black people is a term used in certain countries. Often they, were, they came from the Pupu Nunu tribe. Or ethnicity <laughs> to describe <laughs> persons who are perceived to be dark skinned compared to other given populations. As such, the meaning of the expression varies widely both between and within societies and depends significantly on context. Okay, thank you. Right. Say, black people said say Siri, I'm a black person. No. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. Say Siri, my nigga. Yeah, say hey, that Siri, to her. who are you voting for? Hey Siri, who are you voting for? I'm Siri. Here to help. Oh no. Here to, <laughs> here to <laughs> help. <laughs> say, wow, Hillary? I thought you were better than that. Hey Siri, wow, Hillary? I thought you were better than that. What? She's not listening. She's ignoring me. Here to heal. <laughs> that's her. That's her trying to do a southern accent to win votes there. Yeah. <laughs> the heel. Did you guys ever see Master Dan Donnie and his satire of Justin Bieber? Like, oh. From the wild thornberries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he grew up. Oh no. I was hoping he'd die young. He does nothing but satire of Justin Bieber. Wow. Amazing how they found a, a <laughs> child in the rainforest, and that's what he grew up to do. Yeah, I always thought in the last episode the chimpanzee fucking like strangled. You know, him. looking at that guy, he could be Donnie. I oh, see it. It's just a guy. Oh, this is him. Wait, <laughs> this only has fifty-three views. He has no audience. Oh, this is the guy. Fifty-two of them. Smells so good that he, he owns Justin Bieber. It's a good thing to own. He looks really angry doing this video. Couldn't be. Then who? Do you want to see how I found him? Yeah. Is this the guy who goes makes fun of like he has POV videos where he makes fun of you wearing a diaper? <laughs> yes. Okay, I've seen his videos. His videos, of this one in particular, is absolutely amazing. <laughs> diaper. Yes, this one. Yes, this one. Thinking of. Whoa. This is a little intense, guys. <laughs> a little much. A little bit. Is this a uh, is this Pamper Cheese Roleplay Dad? It's <laughs> <laughs> not a very nice dad. <laughs> Why is this flag that's not safe for work? It's not safe for anyone. <laughs> he asks for donations for doing this. I'll I'll give him some money. Here you go. I, I finally found the Go Animate video I was searching for. Oh. This is what I was looking for, Tim. This kind of stuff. What? Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Oh, oh, yes. Look over them, my puppy! And I have Down Syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Keep and quiet. We haven't fucked in two months. I am so horny. <laughs> I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to favorite... <laughs> Why is this head- is his body small or is his head big? Both. Yeah. <laughs> is he, is he Do they beast? still have Dallas as a voice? Because Dallas was the best voice and yeah. I remember they took it out later on. Fuck. <laughs> why even- why even use it anymore? They're not getting my $299 unless <laughs> Dallas is in it. <laughs> It's 
Someone said you can't show Go Anime videos on uh, Twitch. Is that true? No, I can't be true. It's so uh, hope not. It's creativity. You can't. You can't. See show them. go animate fetish videos. Oh, oh okay, that makes sense. Just like okay. how you can't say ha ha, you're wearing a diaper. You can't say that. That's not safe for work. That gets flagged for eighteen year old. <laughs> well, it technically Holy is. Holy like, fuck! It technically is lamp. Yeah, okay, Cory. He's he's yeah. getting real horny. Yes. There's just like the Cockold's Adventures, Sissy Academy. This is all like insane. I, I, you, this, you couldn't find any of this stuff because people were too busy ranting about it. But you actually it's see it. You're just like, well, what? It's so rare. I gotta check out Cuckold episode eight. I'm gonna see if it's any good. Episode eight. There's eight of them. It's a, it's a whole series. There's a, there's a story that's developing. I don't think that has anything to do with it. It's, it, it leads up to a bigger story yeah. point. Cuckolds, the Cuckold Adventures. Yeah. It just sounds like the name of like a, a Simpsons spin-off. Here's Simon's journey to becoming a cuckold. Which one should I watch? That one. They're all bad. All bad. Only bad. Oh. oh! They're shooting you! They're shooting you at you! Shooting at you! Oh, I died! Did I you? I can't believe you're no. dead. Yeah, you oh. can die from that. You can die from being shot. Um, what is this? This is funny. Someone said Mega64 gets away with streaming their videos every day for 24 hours. I think you can stream your own videos and content. Well, we made our own Go Anime video, so does yeah. that count? Yeah, it counts. That's good enough. As Why does Twitch care if you stream anything? Because I don't know. Furries. Because then they get yelled at by other people. This is a big now. Besides, it's an offline video. Big whoop. Big whip. Big whip. I bet you thought I was gonna do that one Family Guy joke. I did. Oh yeah, he says, Lois. I he says, I love you, Lois. Says so Lois, I forgot my me. Batman. I forgot my Batman. What? I forgot my Batman glass football. Lois, I. Batman do. football? Wait, this is fre what? freaky sweet. Lois, I'm gay. <laughs> freaky sweet. <laughs> freaky sweet. Lois, I married sweet. the dog. To the baby. Lois, the baby's gay. Lois, the ba gay baby's Peter, fucking the, baby's the dog. Gay. <laughs> Lois, freaky sweet. <laughs> Lois, you alive. made me a gay baby. <laughs> Lois, I am sad. Why, 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 no, they're like, um... Oh god, what the fuck? Minecraft. Mega Bloods. Mega, Mega 64. Mega Man. Rich is her beefy. Eadril. Did we help you? No. Oh, he's beyond help. Troll. You're cringe. That word doesn't mean anything. <laughs> I'm so hip. I know all the words. Have you had any peeps? I, I, I love the I, these peeps. I can't eat peeps. Why not? Make me sick. You Put them in the microwave. Then you never want any. Well, that's true. That's good to do. Mm -hmm. Remember the Pokeballs at Burger King? That the you kids suffocated? On? Yeah, the kids suffocated on it. So let's be honest. If you suffocated on one of those, you, you weren't worth anything anyway. It's just the baby child who swallowed a hole. He didn't swallow it. He put half of it over his face and kept sucking in words to choke himself out with it. It's a good strategy. It worked. 
Pokemon's about evolution, survival Passer, of the fittest. Passers by sexy gave you a. Like, <laughs> so was that a sentence? Yeah, did you just say. Passerby sexy. Yes, that's what the top of the screen said in Pokemon. I love Pokemon. Ooh. <laughs> Bye, Cord. Cord. Bye, Cord. We'll miss you. I could hear him waiting. He was he was running out of gas. <laughs> poor, <guy. laughs> poor Cory. He'll be fine. He has things. So, I don't, what's he this? <laughs> He wakes up from this and then he falls like a tree. <laughs> oh. I think so, he drinks a lot during it too. Oh, okay. Poor Cory. Poor Cory. I was gonna ask him to do an impression of Genesis, but he's gone now. Yeah, because everybody keeps saying they sound similar. They do. No, they don't. Do they? A little bit. I don't hear it. Watch the new one. He kind of sounds like Cory. He doesn't drop his character for a little bit. No, he does whisper scream at me. <laughs> Wait, how's that sound? Uh, I forget what he even said. Cause he, I don't know why Chris. <laughs> Chris blurred the chat, but what was happening was he was saying that if you want to be in his family, you have to fight his family members and defeat all of them. So I typed in the chat in asterisks that I, I killed his wife and I won't fight. He got, oh! really, he got really mad at me and I kept doing it. And he he was threatening my life. I was whisper screaming at me. He says you have no honor. He said I had no honor. I, they... I don't understand why he wants to be like this weird... <laughs> He has white Wait. hair and then like black stubble. Because he's a demon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> His hair's white because of the demon blood transfusion. Sure. Not a million years. No. That is his backstory. He got he uh he he it's fought a bunch of bucks on a sword. No, he fought a bunch of demons in heck. Mm -hmm. And uh as a as a joke, they they gave him a demon blood transfusion, so now he's half demon. That's pretty oh, no. funny. It's you a pretty funny joke. <laughs> it's not a joke. You said it was a joke. It's. I didn't say it was a joke. I said that's his backstory. You said as a joke. You not remember saying. <laughs> not really, because I'm barely awake either. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird doing these late night streams. Schmierb. 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 Hey Siri, how many people died today? Let me check that. The answer is about 154,995 deaths per day. Thank, thank you. Well, thank it's you. not today <laughs> specifically. But, I mean, that's early Say accident. Siri, you're going to die tomorrow. I don't want to lie to her. She gave me a good answer this time. <laughs> Say, Siri, somebody's going to die tomorrow. <laughs> it's not wrong. There's someone's <laughs> listening in on me. So what? It's not wrong. Hey, Siri, someone's going to die tomorrow. There you go. Let me check that. I found <laughs> something on the web about someone's going to die tomorrow. Check it out. <laughs> she understood you. She just said check it out at the end. She usually doesn't say that. Check it out. She's very excited about the death. Say Siri, I'm at the White House. No. Oh. I'm nude at the White House. <laughs> Say Siri, I'm nude at the White House. Siri, I'm nude. So say I pret I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Hey Siri, I'm nude. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, hey. hey Corey. Are you alright? I was trying to join like the whole time. Oh. Corey, do your do your impression of Genesis. What? <laughs> that was a good impression. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Is it stupid? What? It, is it? What? What is? Nothing. My girl <laughs> wants me to go over to her computer, but I... She's gonna show you the Badger Badger Mushroom video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gotta check out New Numa. <laughs> New Numa! <laughs> 
Corey, come it's, check it's out this Numa internet Numa. video. No, Corey, it's not like Numa Numa. This is New Numa. It's better. No, it's <laughs> Numa Numa. No, there's New Numa. He made a sequel. Numa, hey, hey, go away. Numa. Oh, that, hey, go that's away. New Numa. Hey, sexy Numa. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I remember I saw like a, a, a Japanese flash video of that song like a year before Numa Numa happens. I thought you were I think gonna that's say, what he's watching in it. I thought you were gonna say hentai. Oh, the one with like the octopus? Yeah, I think there's a One Piece character and there's the, you know, the Japanese a ASCII cats. I, we might not be thinking of the same thing, but... It's very old. I think it was on the international section of the Opino Black Sheep. He's fat. Oh no. Who is huh? That's the whole joke, isn't it? That's yeah. not very nice. Oh wait, there's a joke? The Numa de ain't fat. Oh yeah, he does say that. Numa Numa Numa. Why is he a rock? This is Numa Numa Dance. This is the Numa Dance. Buy the t-shirt. <laughs> Classic Numa Dance. Corey, do your, your Genesis Valentine impression. Yeah. Okay, it's like... Oh. You would yeah, like... Yeah, he puts out, he puts Angry! <laughs> I don't want to have to pull out the Mur Murus Hama blade, but <laughs> if Murus I need Hama. to honor my family, I will. <laughs> That's pretty good. I, was I will. Yeah, it has to be more of a sharp inflection, though. though yeah. Just... And then you're like, I don't believe you. You're like, <laughs> you're just a bully. I don't. Yeah, well, hmm, I don't have time. <laughs> to yeah, the bullets. I love when. I love when he says the video. I never saw the very beginning of that, the first video when I saw it earlier. <laughs> the, be and, well, the, the beginning, he's like, he's like he's saying, like, like, "I never beat Shadow the Hedgehog." Yeah, and it. then the second, the second <laughs> Chris shows he up, he's like, gears. "I beat Sa Shadow the Hedgehog." On the kiss oh, your ass goodbye. <laughs> a difficulty nobody's ever heard of. He has photos of it on his phone. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case people don't believe Chris was just being practical. He was just like, if you don't show the photos, I don't believe you. And he's like, and he just, he's just, that's uh, your well, opinion. Uh, you're entitled to your own opinion. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like the old adage. Practice makes perfect. I like the other person who was there. They had a, a good voice. They were yeah. the first person talking. They said, Shadow the Hedgehog is an easy game. I beat it on the GameCube. <laughs> like, GameCube it's version. Little... It's great. It's great. It's like so perfect. I honestly thought it was Julian. I don't mean to sound mean to Julian. <laughs> I thought Julian, you were just like doing in like a, in a fiction, right? Like you were just like. Well, he sounds. He sounds like a little slow. The other guy. You sound much He's better, still... Julian. But I thought you were like <laughs> you were just making him on. I appreciate wow, the thanks. disclaimer. Thanks, Corey. Gemstar wife. Why is this wife? It's just like he. I thought you were like fucking with him, and then I realized that it wasn't you towards the end. It was like, oh, this. No, there's no way. Because yeah, he, he was like, actually. Sense. But even though the other guy sounds kind of slow, his the way he speaks back to Jonas sounds like patronizing. Like, yeah, exactly. Like that's what I goes, thought it was. Wow. Kind of, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought it was kind of like. I like he, he gave the big speech, and then that guy cut him off and went. That, that, that's like Nightmare from Soul Calibur. <laughs> it's, it's great. It's You need more stuff like that. It's just like perfectly set up, perfectly timed. At least you don't have someone to come in being like, look at this retard. <laughs> no, I agree. I, it's better when they, they play along. They play oh, along. yeah, because you're not like being, you're just like, you know, catching them like, in their own trap. I it's like guys... when somebody spills the cookies, you're like, I didn't spill cookies an alien did. It's like, Oh yeah, well where's the pictures? I don't I don't no, think an alien yeah, did. But, was an alien. Yeah, but, but, but I I'm sure you guys have seen the um the guy talking about Slenderman video I uploaded. Oh, it's incredible. Wow. It's like so perfect. It's like Dude, the, best the whole video, video I'm having to edit out people talking to him because they're just terrible. 
but he was that so was the thing funny. whenever we were on there i would always mute everyone else just because whenever we were anywhere outside of our group no one would say things like humor them to keep them going they, would they were just, just mean them. they were just yeah. like going yeah. troll back in the day whenever you were saying Oral troll happy russ are my favorite characters happy i love happy russ happy <laughs> russ <laughs> He says, I, I hope she made lots of spaghetti. No, he doesn't say that. He says the spaghetti is cold, so I can't go to my college. College? <laughs> I played the game. I know. He goes, motherfucker! And it bleeps out the last part. Oh. He goes, no. Gay, no. gay Luigi. Gay Luigi? <laughs> Hey, you! Get off my cloud! Then he pushes him down, and there's just this blood-curdling scream while the character falls. I love the main theme. I don't know if you ever just listen to the music for that game. The main thing is... Dun, 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 Terrible, yeah. The actual, like, in-game music sounds the same way, too. Yeah! It's just random. It's like a really... Kind of complex song of random notes. I just like how the volume is always turned up like 110%, so it's just yeah. obnoxiously loud all the time. So even when people made YouTube poops, it was just louder than it should be all the time. God, old fucking Hotel Mario YouTube poops. I don't miss them. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not crazy because I remember I went to an uh, electronic store in. It's like 1996. Or seven, mm -hmm. and I saw Hotel Mario like on a projector there. And I didn't know what it was. I never saw it before. Mm -hmm. The older you got, it, yeah. it became a YouTube sensation. Sleep yeah, that's, that's why they were. That's why it was on a projector because everyone was giggling and going, Pretty "Ah, gay, gay Luigi, <laughs> <laughs> spaghetti." <laughs> Whoa, that'd be Can funny you, to work you, in the Miami. Are we yeah. online again? Yeah. What is the object? That's an infernal oh. vegetable. Yeah, it's because Japan hates those. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's true. They do. I forgot. That probably yep. was an intentional joke. Yep, and I don't like them either. Kids. I like them. Uh, They're not so bad. There's worse vegetables. And one Asian man eats them raw. That's one of my favorite pizza toppings. Is green peppers. What? What is this? Is this a rant about <laughs> old commercials? I love this guy's videos. He rants if they change commercials. Oh, no. And he's like mad that they call it. He, he he's mad that they call Empire Empire today now, and he gets so mad. He talks about like, what if they just called it Empire again? Wouldn't that be cool? Like, <laughs> why why would that matter? Hey, you having a little panic attack? You know, I, 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 I freaked out too when they changed the name of Empire. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, I'm actually God. really tired. Guys, I gotta go to bed. I have to be up at four. Oh. I love you. I love me too. Good then. Oh. Yeah, I need to go to bed too. Oh. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. This night, weekend Corey. we can stream. Uh, good night. This weekend we can stream though. I'll be fine with that. I don't know if we're gonna even have a laptop. Oh god, dude. We just do this. I don't know why they're taking so long. They're probably peeing on it and then like replacing oh my God. everything just yeah. to get back at you. They're making, well, they're using it to make uh, fetish videos. Go anime, <laughs> go anime fetish. Videos. When he came back, he just had nothing but exporting go anime. Well, doesn't peeing <laughs> help the electronics inside? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I gotta go. You just have time to comprehend. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor Cory. Look, it's the last guy from the first game. It's the last guy. There's a bunch of him in this one. He oh didn't my god, seem eat like, the fucking bombs, come on! He didn't seem like that big of a deal in the first game. He wasn't that intimidating. No, I think the, the Queen Bulbar, which you fight pretty quickly in this one, is more intimidating. Yeah. The big fat one. Look, he's all drooly. Your feet again. Hey. Ah. No, this is not going well. 
it's uh, it's guerrilla radio. It goes ah, where? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, it's only with that. Oops. Did you get him? Clonked him. Oh, he had a crab claw in him. Wait, is that an item? That's a strange one. This is organic. Ooh, we got oh, a lot. We just got a bunch of peppers. Oh, uh, imagine if you had to fight crabs. Party crab. Imagine cooking babies. <laughs> just think about it. Look at it. It's nice, and, it's nice and red. It got boiled. Mysterious remains. Yeah, those are things. God, I wish I had a crab meat. I'd, I'd like some crab. Crab love. What's he doing over there? <laughs> yeah, what is he doing? It's not like there's anybody over there. Wait, it says we're... Oh, that was weird. Oh, is it down again? No, it isn't, but it showed a generic Twitch logo, and I got scared like they took us down. Oh. Which would make no sense, because we're not doing anything, we're just playing games. I think he's stuck. Reprogram oh, us. Hey, <laughs> come here, you. Everyone's typing your name in the chat. Eat this. Who's there we go. Someone's like, can you play more than Pikmin? Yes. Well, we I gotta think. beat it first. <laughs> I mean, I think we're—I think we'll probably beat it tonight, and then next week we'll be able to play something different. I—I I realize it's been three weeks in a row now. There's nothing wrong with that though, because like, first game took one day, and two has much more content. Oh, he ate it. He like voluntarily ate it. <laughs> yeah, he did that on his own. <laughs> he just doesn't want to live anymore. Look at his face, he's really depressed. Oh, he Do you think it would anything. be... Do you think it would be... Imagine that bulbar came into your house. Do you think you could smash it with your foot, or do you think it would be too hard? Well, yeah, it's not that big. No, but it, you needed a like, an explosive just to hurt it. I don't know. Make a loud crunch. How much is left in this game? Uh, two more dungeons. After this. Where is the thing? Is it over here? You're gonna tell- okay, it's not- Yeah, yeah, you actually have to fight the head from the thing. That's the final boss. From the movie The Thing. Yes. Oh, it's probably behind there. Hang on, I gotta go pee pee. I'll be right back. Oh no, Why? you're leaving us too. No, I'm peeing. I'm peeing. You're a pee. Say I'm a peeing. You're a peeing. That that that. You're a I'm Russian. a peeing. I'm a peeing isn't a joke. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it does. What's I'm a peach mean? I'm a oh. Like in Peach. Yeah. Like I'm Peach. Look, it's, oh, your, it's your favorite little yeah. ketchup packet. Yeah, I, they said they're gonna impeach Nixon. They said, don't even play Mario. God, I'm eating what you say. Okay, I'm gonna take. He was talking about the ones where you can. Turn it into spurt mode? Have you seen Oh, them? yeah. Yeah, th I think they're really clever. They're probably more expensive, which is probably why they're kind of hard to come across, but they are. I, I really like the idea. Well, that's a cream for. Deep in. Would you jump inside one if you were a small boy? Yeah. I love those. I can't. I can never resist stacking them when I'm at a. At a... Yeah, I used to, when I was a little kid. One time when I was a little kid, I was stupid, and you know the butter packets are like that? Yeah. I got those, and I ate the whole thing. Oh, I mean, geez. I opened the, I mean, the packaging, but I ate it, and that wasn't smart. <laughs> I got a stomach ache from eating this butter. <laughs> Plain butter. The margarine, I remember. Yeah, I don't know how they... It's probably... It can't be, like, just pure butter, because it's so... It's always really soft. 
I guess yeah, they, I they, guess maybe they have it just preheated or something, but no, because yeah, you can find it at like some desolate restaurant table, and yeah, you're right, it's always like salt. <laughs> Uh, 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 butter, butter experts in the chat explain to us why uh, butter, butter packets are always soft. Yeah, you better have an explanation. You better have an explanation. Thank you. Poor little beetles did nothing to deserve it. They ran very fast. I don't like it. That's not free. I'm losing brain rate. Is my energy stable? First they give us white ones. Oh good, there's, there is purple. After Why won't they give us black? They, they are, they're right here. Uh, I seem to remember needing blues, so I guess it's gonna be yellows. What if you suddenly need yellows? Uh, I don't think we would. The The only thing that you absolutely need yellows for is to, like, break those electric gates. And you can make do with just, like... A but you need them for bombs. Huh? Well, they I can't... They you can't... needed them for bombs. No, they can't pick up, uh, they can't pick up bombs in this one. That was one of the things they changed. Oh, that's just the first one. Okay. I'm not thrilled about it either. How is it in three? Uh, I don't know. I guess probably because people were all like, I don't like that you can pick up, that you can't pick up bombs in Pikmin 2. And so they're like, oh, I guess we gotta. Actually, did I get everything? I got everything. Yeah, a, so they put it in the third one. Well, Nintendo does like removing features that people like from sequels. They sure do. Ever play the Pokemon games? They do that a lot. Yeah, they they uh, that's one of the main staples of the series. Is they like introducing <laughs> they like introducing really interesting mechanics and then they take it out right away. <laughs> you never see it again. <laughs> like they got Sun and Moon coming out, and everyone's scared they're gonna take out Pokeyami. You know, it's very popular. But like. Uh, the yeah, they probably will. They'll probably have some I other hope thing. Not. I got actual, genuine, legitimate ramen noodles. Oh, you went to the ramen stand. I'm gonna see how they are. I hope they're all right. Oh, careful, they squeamed a little bit. Who squeamed? Who squeamed? Me. Did you know you can, like, swim and dive in Animal Crossing, the new one? I'm so behind. This game's like two years old. Not Wait, you fun. can die in Animal Crossing? Dive, the, the, dive. The. Oh, you can die in Animal Crossing. You can go to dr you can be on di drivers, drivers, dive, di dive, drive-ins, and dives. Dine, oh. drive diners, drive-ins, and dives. That's what the oh. show is called. Oh, the, why did they do the that? Reality. Oh Jesus! The reality what? show about diving, and then. What? Uh, <laughs> Did you see that? They just walked straight yeah, into the water. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> poor, uh, poor, poor Louis Anderson got stuck in the swimming pool. <laughs> Someone edit that. Someone had the footage of him getting pulled out of the pool of that plane. These noodles are pretty good. Are there any uh, of the, the the fish thing? The swirl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there really? Mm -hmm. 
I just ate one. How was it? Is that what they are? I never knew what they were. They don't taste like anything. I assumed they were tofu. Well, they like, they come in a big stick. I like them, but they don't taste like anything. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Is this like a food area? Because all the things you're finding are food. I guess it could be. That's what it says when you get it. It's called just a mushroom? Yeah. Actually, yeah, you're, I haven't been paying attention to what the theme is for this one. Get it? Like Mario? Did you guys see Fateful Findings yet? You should really see Fateful Findings the mushroom. It turns into like a treasure chest. Magic thing. Was that the Mario movie? You know, it's no brain. Oh, we do need to watch that. Yeah, we do. It's better than um. Well, better. Better is. Do we want better or do we want worse? It's both. It's more. Competently create. Uh, it's more competently shot and directed, but it's also dumber and more confusing. Okay. So it's just. So it's just better. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that should be overall more enjoyable. Also, there's other actors in that movie than. Than just him. Fun. Well, there were other Not actors, and there was all the the old business guys. In Double <laughs> Down. Shit. It's a coil. Oh. Diamond and pearl. What do you think they're gonna do when they have to remake Diamond and Pearl? They'll skip it. They skipped the uh, Z. They they like kept hinting at being a game in the anime and stuff. They just skipped it. They need to make a new generation. They need more money, more Pokemon. Skip the special game. This is gonna be great for them though, because this is like the first generation where they can just reuse the graphics of the last one. I'm sure they're just gonna reuse all the 3D models from. I never understood the idea of that, anyways. I got it with yellow just because it was throwing Pikachu into there. It was like a special edition. It even said that it was, it was a special edition. Well, special Pikachu late, edition. Later. <laughs> Third versions added endgame content, but really- but that, That's easy. the thing, it's like, why even buy the first two if you know you're getting a better version of it like a year later? That's why I didn't ever buy X and Y. Because <laughs> I thought I was waiting for Z. <laughs> Whoops. Kind of backfired, Nintendo. Oh, no point in going back, you just get to the next one. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> that's the thing too, there's no point in ever going back to an old game. You just keep- There was- I would never go back to Diamond, Pearl, Black, and White or any of that. I had a lot of fun. But what am I doing wasting time? I did, no I did go back to Gold and Silver just because they're cozy. They feel cozy playing them. Oh, oh. No, oh, um, I guess on the remakes, I never heard of it. Soul Silver, Gold, Gold. <laughs> Soul Silver, Gold, Gold. Gold, Gold. Um, they added like this Pokeathlon, which is like. Oh actually, yeah. You can actually just use any Pokemon you have, which is such a cool idea. <laughs> For some reason, Nintendo never wants that to happen. In X and Y, they added riding land Pokemon, but you can only ride two Pokemon. And in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, you can fly on Pokemon like in real time, but only one. I don't know why it's so hard for them to just model different Pokemon. That's the thing too. 
The new games are 3D, the old ones were 2D. It should have been harder for the 2D games. Yeah. Yeah. Just use the models you have for the battle sprites so you don't feel like doing it. Mm. Well, those are very poorly optimized, by the way. If you've ever looked at the polycap, very high poly for no reason. Even the new 3DS, if you turn 3D on, which is supposed to be the main feature of the console, during a battle, like any two Pokemon with any complex geometry, the, the game will just chug, even if it's new 3DS. That's too bad. And it's because they didn't do like any texture work on these Pokemon, they're all polyfound. They easily just made decent textures. Yeah, ran better. Listen, they figured no one was going to turn 3D on, so it's okay. Yeah, it's weird. Um, almost every other first party Nintendo game was you have 3D on all the time. Oh, all, all like Yokai Watch 3D is always on every part of the game, even during cutscenes. 3D works in Yokai Watch, which I thought was kind of neat. Like the anime cutscenes will have the background is behind the foreground characters, but Pokemon, no. Uh, <laughs> 3D does not work in this, unless you're in battle. Wait, really? Yes, in, in XY and... Only when you're in battle? There's other tiny situations, but yes. So, the overworld, you can't do it? Right. Really? Yes. That's... I don't know why, either. That's so weird. I know. It's very strong. <clears throat> so hang on, I'm gonna put my noodles away. Where are you gonna put them? Hiding, hiding, hiding. Oh. It's a drill. Oh. Oh, this stinks. Why? I need uh, I need some sap now. Cause everybody's all slow. It is a restraint. Impenetrable cookie. Is it cookie, or is it saying that it resembles a cookie? Oh, it looks like a cookie to me. Yeah, 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 that's it. Okay, so I missed something somewhere. I don't know, but one fond memory I have of Pokemon. Remember the Pokemon Shuckle? Um. I don't it think I ever like... played it, but I vaguely remember it, yeah. Oh, Shuckle. It's your gold and silver. Just, um, he looks like... Oh, Shuckle! Shell. I thought you said Shuffle. Yeah, I, I figured you thought I said Shuffle. No, I'm talking about Shuffle. Shuffle <laughs> is a current Pokemon game you can get on iPhone. And stuff. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm talking about the Pokemon Shuckle. And gold and silver... <laughs> I remember you could give Shuckle. Oh, look at battery. You could give Shuckle berries, and after a while, the berry would turn into berry juice because I guess it dissolves in its body. Yeah. Do you yeah. I don't know. I always thought that was really neat. I wish more things were like that. Like Pokemon having you. Yeah, they never really did that kind of thing again, did they? I think Mill Tanks can give milk, or is that wrong? No, I think you just buy milk. No, yeah, you just, it, it, it it can use milk drink, but that's all. Like, it doesn't generate, like, the item or anything. Yeah, I thought more Pokemon should have utility outside the battles that aren't stupid h -bombs. I figured that was why they introduced a cow Pokemon, was that I could make milk. Not to just well, have a move called milk. Do you remember, you remember Shuckle, right? Yeah, Shuckle's one of my favorites. Cool. He's actually not a very good defender. I mean, he's got like the highest defense or some shit, but his stats and his typing are not good for it. Yeah. How about that? 
I'm gonna drop it. Why don't they just rebalance the game and actually give every Pokemon a purpose? Yeah, from scratch. Seriously. Just do it already. Mm -hmm. Well, now they're solidifying that that won't happen because Pokemon Bank <clears throat> needs to sell. So they have to give reason you're gonna like, oh, you have to Pokemon Bank to transfer your Pokemon now. Here's a, here's a fun idea. If you're gonna change how stats work and everything, just make an equation to multiply the values out of what they currently had to match up with the new statistics for them. Well, they're gonna have to do that now because they're letting you transfer um, Pokemon from red, blue, yellow, virtual console. Yeah. So just redo it already. Bounce it out. I looked at an image that showed the top 10 teams from VGC Pokemon Championship, and like every team is, is it Salamence, Kangaskhan? It's usually like just Rayquaza. Eight to ten different Pokemon that people will use. Yeah, and like some teams are identical. I really like this Jamari and Bra Braylon's videos, that would be good. Yeah, Jamari and Braylon's pretty good. <laughs> Remember Jumanji, the classic Supo? I don't yeah. actually think it was under them. I thought it was under them and I looked it up and it didn't say they were credited anywhere. Well, it's definitely in that style. It for sure is, which is why I thought it was weird. I remember the commercials. The girl kept saying "wicked" before I was really familiar with that slang. I was so really weird. She was saying "wicked." She's talking about the wicked witch. <laughs> and he said, "What does that have to do with Jumanji? Are there witches in the jungle?" <laughs> I mean, there could be. I think I actually remember that ad now. <laughs> Just because I remembered her saying that, and I hated it. I liked whenever uh, marketing would work in words like that that nobody actually said. Yeah. Booyah! <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. This is off the chain! It's all landed in a bag of potato chips. <laughs> Do you think anybody ever said that? Well, the, the funniest part is the phrase as it should be, which I'm still people don't want to say, is all that and a bag of chips. But he says all that and a bag of potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't want to culturally appropriate anyone. Yeah. yeah. Do you think anybody ever said all that in a bag of crisps? Yes. <laughs> Do you think anyone ever said all that in a bag of shit? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Next hit is shit across the street from the motherfucker. That's awesome. It's weird to me that after all these years, Mark M still doesn't even have like 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. Is he really that niche with a sense of humor? Mm -hmm. Sick animation. Oh, I know! I, I thought he was popular. No, he's never really been big, and that's weird to me. And he was like one of the original Newgrounds people. Like, Chris posts his stuff everywhere, Aaron's posted his stuff, and he still isn't like. He's barely known. It's weird to me. Why do you think? I don't know. I don't know, it's like some some people get a certain amount of fame and there's just something that permanently stubs that. I liked his, uh, was a trip to the mountains. I like that one a lot. The whistle boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you don't want to go back. You don't want to be held responsible. Whistle <laughs> boy.
that's that, that's depressing to me. It's depressing that someone like that who's been doing this for such a long time. He's consistent too. He's he's been doing videos nonstop. Most people who do animation kind of gave up after YouTube fucked them over, but he's still going. I guess it's too weird. He did Adult Swim bumpers even, and that wasn't enough to really get people noticing him. Mm. How about that? Did you know uh, London Bridge was falling down was based off a terrorist attack? Yes. So you're actually bringing back... Oh, that's cool. I love the Pokemon card game. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I forgot all about that. I, it's funny because I remembered that, but it, I don't, don't remember looking quite like that. <laughs> I really liked all the early attempts uh, during the 90s for people to try to look like anime without really understanding it. Uh -huh. Give them real big eyes, and you make their pupils go in two different directions. Mm -hmm. Why is she so angry? <laughs> well, she's, she, she's confident in her ability. I guess I should paste this in the chat so people know what we're talking about. Yeah, that was for the PC Pokemon card game, wasn't it? Mm hmm. Yeesh. The Game Boy one was really good. I would rather play the Pokemon uh, trading card game on Game Boy Color than some of the actual mainline Pokemon games. Yeah. It, it, well, the combat was more complex. There's more to. There's more planning, I get not even more. There's like the same amount of planning, but the actual combat itself that you're actually fighting is much more shallow and Pokemon. Pretty good Pokemon. music too. Oh at all. There's some of the best music in the, any of the Pokemon video games. And they were like original too. I never got to try the second one though. Yeah, I never played it. It was it was really good. But they like still make Yu-Gi-Oh! video games, they still make Magic the Gathering video games, why don't they make Pokemon TCG video games? I know there's an online game now, but I mean like... Because then why buy the cards? Yeah. <laughs> Although, Nintendo, if you want the most money, microtransactions for digital cards. <laughs> Remember Scrolls? No. I mean, yes, but no. <laughs> I remember it being a thing. I don't remember it ever having a presence of any sort. And then it got cancelled. How about that? Did it actually? Yes. Oh, wow. Everything he's touched after Minecraft got cancelled. Who's, uh... That's really strange. Why? Why would you do that? He was lazy. No, never mind. Oh, there you go. He was gonna do his super ambitious uh, sci-fi game. Yeah. And it was gonna be a real science and have its own computer operating system. And you'd visit different planets and galaxies and base your own, uh, build your own space shuttles and everything. And it have its own physics. And uh, right out the door, he already planned that you were going to have to pay for dedicated servers. And there would be monthly fees for having an account for it. And then he cancelled it in like, like four months. And then he started to understand that Minecraft was not successful because of the product it was. It was successful because of Minecraft. He also recognized, oh, I'm not very good at programming and my everything is really messy and Java isn't good for this. I know. He needed to stop using Java. He wasn't going to learn something else. That takes work. They're still trying to repair everything he did with Minecraft because he did it in Java and it was such a mess. Mm -hmm. 
I feel bad for other people who have to like work on that. You have to try to fix something that's not really working. But that was the yeah. thing he he recognized that it was already going to do well. And something that he wanted to make like that was just not going to happen unless he wanted to put a lot of work into it. So he just gave up. Mm -hmm. Scrolls, I don't know what the idea was because nothing about it was interesting. I don't know why he thought anyone would care about it or why he even really wanted to make it. And it wasn't tied to what his. Like, the sci fi game is at least tied to the same kind of gameplay as yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. Are you, are you but streaming? Scrolls wasn't. Yeah! Oh. Did you want to join us? Uh, I cannot. I would, would have loved to, but uh, I have 12 hours to turn that board in and I stopped loading the game. Oh, okay. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, anyway, I, uh, but next time, next time. Next time. Yeah. <laughs> Into cool man Tamer. What's weird about scrolls though is that I don't even think digital card games are really popular outside of like Hearthstone. And that's just because Blizzard put all its marketing into it. Yeah. Exactly. So it was weird that he even attempted it. And he didn't do anything to make it stand out. It was really generic. His his hope was you do a Minecraft convention and then show off your game there. Even though it has nothing to do with Minecraft. Mm -hmm. It's like if the people who made Angry Birds suddenly made an MMORPG. Uh-huh. I could do it. When I say that, I don't mean like it's Angry Birds related. It's just an MMORPG. <laughs> yeah. That's how Distant Scrolls was. If they did an Angry Birds MMORPG, because they did do an Angry Birds RPG that is real, I'm sure it would do Wiggle Noggin. Oh, Wiggle Noggin. Is that a dog toy? Oh, sure. A cat head on a spring. It's so hot in here. Oh, mama. Oh, mama. Is the stream dead again? Oh, Jesus Christ, is it? Yes. I think uh, Twitch is fucking up. Because it is. Jesus Christ is right. How are they gonna do an emoji movie? Uh, they won't. You make it about the eggplant. So if it works. It fucking better be. This is like the third time. It's because of Twitch. Oh, what do you well, think? okay. I'm oh. gonna restart that one. What do you think of Metabots? Uh, I don't remember anything about it. Was it any fun to play? Uh, you didn't play it. It was just a show and there were toys. Oh, well, I, I, I guess it was there a game. were there were Game Boy games. I guess we didn't get the Game Boy Color games, which were more like Pokemon. We got the Game Boy Advance games, which were weird. Okay. One of them was like a platformer fighting game that didn't really work. The other one was an RPG. It was kind of cool. You get to pick your own parts. Yeah, that's why I thought that it was a video game because it was like it, it was all about customization in a way that seemed very like. I don't know if the games were first or if the show was. I figured the show was, and then it spun off like a toy line. And the whole point was like a toy line where you'd switch parts around. I like the designs in it a lot. Did anything die to that? I'm just one. Will be remembered. I forgot about him already. I'm keeping that joke going.
I'm not so broken up about losing purple guys at this point since I don't uh, I don't have to have a specific amount of them. Feeling real sick eating these peanut M and M's. I don't know why. Look at that nipple wobble. Nipple physics. You're right. Maternal sculpture. I should have just called it a nipple. That would have been racist. Nikolai said no, they had to be rubber nipples. <laughs> That's right! It's okay, that show is not animated good because it's disturbing. Because it's ugly. And, and I don't like the writing, so that means it's animated poorly. What were the animators thinking when they wrote this? Easily one of the worst cartoons of all time I saw was a Family Guy episode because they made a suicide joke. Viewers, let's be serious for a moment. <laughs> if you're ever considering suicide, here's the number for the hotline. Get help. Just because Peter Griffin told you how to kill yourself doesn't mean you have to kill yourself. Seth MacFarlane, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't know. Once you're once you're like taking life advice from Peter Griffin, <laughs> I don't think your life is going very well. It's true. There's I forget what the guy's YouTube channel was, but for anyone who ever does like animated reviews, there's all idiot. yeah they always got the tism to some extent. And there's a guy doing one, and he was saying the 10 worst cartoons ever and all of them were just things that he felt disturbed by them he didn't like the subject material and that makes them bad and he said uh it's either his i think this is number two he said it was the family guy episode because peter griffin made a suicide joke and then he stops and sets time aside to tell everybody that peter griffin should not be teaching you how to commit suicide and he gives you a hotline number Why do you think he uh, takes anything Peter Griffin says so seriously? Because he used to get his life advice from Peter Griffin, and he was really so. like that when he betrayed his trust. <laughs> but the most annoying thing about those channels is that everybody will. They act like the animation. They always use the word animation, but they're talking about like the writing yeah. specifically. So they'll say something as bad as an animation when it could be animated like really nicely. You just didn't happen to like what it was about. That was what a lot of them were saying. They all bring up the Brothers Grunt. And they bring up Ren Stimpy Adult Party cartoon. There are episodes of Adult Party that don't really look good, but then there's ones that look just fine. They're animated pretty well. You can you can say the shows are stupid. You can't say the animation's bad. I watch animation for the story. I watch Doug for the story. I really identify with Doug Funny. Doug Walker really identifies with Doug Funny. That's why he got so mad when people referred to him with Doug, Doug Funny. Walker. His parents said, listen, you're going to grow up to be a fucking dog walker. <laughs> you're not going to be anything. He said, no, mommy, daddy. No, mama. No, papa. No, mommy, daddy. I don't remember how to beat this guy. Uh, you, you... Oh, look at him! Hey, he's got a butt. They don't call him Frigley for nothing. Okay, so 
I like oh, are character. you fucking kidding me? Uh-uh. <sighs> I didn't think that could happen. No. What happened? That many. Do you like when characters always have the same facial expression no matter what? Like the, the fox from Zootopia is always making the DreamWorks face? It's smart. And, uh... Do you, rem do you remember the extreme Ghostbusters? There was a there was a kid in a wheelchair, and he was always making the same face. No. Okay. It wasn't a good show. It's okay. Holy smokes! He was he was voiced by a by a lesbian. No, Static Shock's gay friend. Oh yeah. Oh, you mean Max? Yeah. And he says, I'm sick of you and your racism. Good. Did you know people are actually bringing up Static Shock now, saying it's important and people need to watch it? It was not that high quality of a show. No, no it was it, an awful show. It did a horrible job trying to drill in any uh, messages. It's like the grassy mixed with... Um... It's a Superman cartoon, but it wasn't. I don't want to compare it to that. It's not even kind of as good. He goes <laughs> to Africa and he says, "I feel like I'm I, I'm normal here, you know. I'm not a black kid. I just belong." And then he's flying in the air with a bunch of elephants. It's from the elephants, man. He's finally just a kid yeah. with freakish superpowers. Surrounded by giant animals. He thinks that all <laughs> black people have superpowers. <laughs> he doesn't know. Um, he's, he's the second to last, or...? Julian? What? Is this the second to last? Uh, no, this is the third. We, we, we still got two more after this. Someone says, what does a dug button do? It dugs. A dug button? Oh, That's Jesus. a funny meme. That's a funny internet meme. That didn't go over well. There's a, there's a tiger handheld dug game, and there's just a giant button that says dug on it. Oh. <laughs> so no one knows what the dug button does. <laughs> Wasn't there a full house tiger electronic game, and you had to give people high fives? Those were horrible. I always felt bad if I ended up with one of those. Me too. You always have like an, an uh, initial excitement window because you're like, oh, a video game. Oh. And, and then you turn it on and you go, oh. But I will admit, I found out that there is a Sympathy of, Sympathy of the Night Tiger Electronics game, and <laughs> I just want to play it. I just want to see it. <laughs> Because that's such like a masterful game to me, and they can't do it. There's a Street Fighter 2 one that doesn't work. <laughs> Remember, they released uh, Game and Watch games over here uh, during yeah. like the 90s on little miniature Game Boy screens. Like there were little pocket Game Boys that had Game and Watch games on them. Those were cool. Yeah, they, they didn't bring them over. Like it's not the same thing, but it's based off Game and Watch games. Like there's a Donkey Kong Jr. one that plays exactly like the Game and Watch one. It was cool having those. That's the thing is, if you're going to be limited like that to make a game, you're going to need to figure out a good way to make it clear what you're supposed to do. You want to have very simple visuals and everything. Like Game and Watch games were designed pretty well for what they were. 
Tiger Electronic Games, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> You buy it for the name, you don't buy it for the game. I want a full house game. I'll see. Mama, papa, I want a full house game. Also, house <laughs> Yeah, full house -y. Fuller house -y. The, the Olsen twins got cut up and eaten by a piano. <laughs> Come on. Hurry it up. So many people are drawing really detailed art of Genesis. <laughs> he deserves it. He does. Dungle. Come on, right over here. Oh, Some people God. say I'm a looking like. Oh. Oh boy. <laughs> <It's party time. laughs> Is that Yoshi? Three <laughs> <laughs> Says three couples. Got a rowdy crowd there. Yeah, it's a just about it's a twenty-four hour party. I love it. Did you know Dance Dance Revolution in Europe is called It's called Dan Dan, Dan Revolution. It's Footy like Stomp. Stomp your feet and clap your hands. Is, I you can only play the hamster dance. Forever. No, it's like Beautiful Joe. You can just do it the wrong way. It just takes an hour. Has anyone ever clocked that? How long it takes to fight a Beautiful Joe boss the wrong way? Because I remember... Uh, what's it? Was he called Fire Leo? Was that his mm -hmm. name? Yes. A lot of people didn't know how to fight him. And you could punch him and like attack him, and he would take damage. But it was so little just that it would take like the rocks a bit, right? yeah. But you could just attack him, and it would do almost no damage. But if you sat there for a minute, you'd see you made a little bit of progress. I wonder how long it would take to actually just beat them by doing that the wrong way. No, there's no time limit. I like Beautiful Joe, it's a good game. It's a good game. He's a good friend. I don't think I'm ever gonna get sick of that. Too bad he's dead. Capcom killed him. And then everyone got so mad at Capcom they gave him money to an idiot that can't even make a Mega Man game. I was Mega Man's true daddy. We're going to make Mighty Number no. Nine, and it will be epic. Were you excited about it at first, or were you were you skeptical to begin with? Not really. I didn't like this design. I'm kind of excited for the. Yeah, that one's so oh, that didn't work out. The thing. The thing is with the uh, Mega Man. Yeah, somebody else's yeah. song. Yes, somebody else's song. Uh. <laughs> this is the musical portion of the stream. Uh, I was gonna say though, like I like Mega Man games, but for something like Mighty Number no. Nine, there are so many Mega Man games out there already. Like it. I forget who said it, I think Shad said it at one point that he compared it to like, sort of the Call of Duty, 
of the Nintendo era, not in the sense of like game quality or anything, or uh, just just the fact that they kept coming out left and right. Like every single year, there was a new one. There are so many Mega Man games to pick from that Mighty Number no. Nine. While it'd be nice to get like a new Mega Man going, you have a lot to choose from as it is. Right. It wasn't like something that absolutely needed to happen. People just wanted to see Mega Man again because they're mad at Capcom, so they gave him the money. It was, it was very smart of him because he knew he could take advantage of people like that. It's been four years? Is that right? Four years? Four years to make a Mega Man game? I think uh, Mega Man fan games take less time than that. They look better. They play better. They actually have stage design and music. Remember Red Ash? No. <laughs> okay. That's all, all right. That's that's the best thing to happen. You can just take I do. the guys. I do. Do you think most people who backed it forgot it even existed, so they're just gonna not even do anything with it? Maybe that's what they're trying to do. They're delaying it until people forget it existed, and then they just don't release it. Companies and commercials are lukewarm the best. I don't know how that phrase goes. This isn't the beginning of this video. Thank you, Nostalgia Critic. This is what you spawned. Lukewarm the best. <laughs> Little kids making a rant video about Empire changing their name. Crayola. And Crayola Crayons. <laughs> it's me, Mr. Nintendo King. <laughs> it's like two different names. Someone said, what do you think of Indivisible? Uh, I like the designs for it, but I played the prototype and I wasn't really interested. That's the, that's the Skullgirls team, the new game they were going to do. Oh. RPG. The reason it was taking so long to get funded too, it's not like people didn't want to back it. For the, the fact that, you know, it's that team or something. That wasn't even the reasoning, it's just because they put a prototype out and it just wasn't very fun. Well, I, I thought a big part of it was they completely, completely sold Skullgirls on sex appeal. Like, I'm not saying anything bad about the game, but that was the marketing campaign. And it seems like that game wasn't using that strategy. I Definitely could. not as much. So it didn't... I think the prototype is what hurt it most, just because if you do a prototype, the thing is a lot of people would be willing to back a game just off the concept alone, not even getting to try anything, just to see what it turns out to be. When you're already handing somebody an example of what it's going to be, and it's something they're not interested in at all, they have no reason to back it then. They already know what they're going to be getting. And that was the thing, was the prototype wasn't very good at all. So it was kind of disappointing. To a lot of people, and they didn't bother. They got funded, but great. I think people who were working on it were saying they originally wanted to do a beat 'em up with it, but what's his name didn't want to, so it ended up as an RPG instead, which I would much rather. Oh, did your microphone fall out? No, nope, is, is that just the internet? Come back to me. I can't do this on my own. Hello? There we go. That's me. That was me. That was me. That was me. How come when your how come when your microphone gets unplugged, I can't hear either of you? I, it messes up the call, I don't know why. That doesn't seem uh, very forthcoming. Someone said everybody hated it because it had a brown woman in it. That was probably people well, on 4chan saying people that. People don't hate Shantae. Yeah, that's true too. In fact, people got mad that she wasn't brown. Yeah, yeah, when uh, Half-Genie Hero originally came out, she was really white. 
and people got pissed. Even and it wasn't even a social justice sort of thing. It was like fans, but yeah. not like an accuracy. But they did fix it. Yeah, they did. But they didn't sell it out. I mean, ultimately, I think that's the biggest issue with Indivisible is that it just doesn't look like a very good game. I I I would even rather take standard turn-based combat over what it's currently doing, because all it is is you have a timer uh, before someone can attack, and then you press buttons to attack, and that's a there's no real thought behind. Am Yeah, there's no thought behind it. It's really boring. The thing is, too, like, the before you're in battle, it's a platforming game. And you have, like, attack animations because it's just based off the Skullgirls animation. So it kind of feels like a fighting game when you're moving around. Which is kind of cool for a second. And then you think, like, oh, is this what it's going to be? Like, a, a platformer action game? That could be cool. But then as soon as you touch an enemy, it goes into the really, really plain RPG battles and it's not any fun. Are you the key? Maybe they'll improve upon it, I don't know. That's the thing with their games, is that I like a lot of the things that they do with them, except usually the gameplay itself is what I don't really care for. Skullgirls feels like a fighting game, like it feels like a proper 2D fighting game, but I don't like what it, it's based around, because it's like Marvel style where it's just about whoever lands, I shouldn't even say Marvel. You were saying uh, Melty Blood, and that's it more is. accurate to me. It's it just is. you you land the first hit, and then you pretty much control the fight from that point on. Because you get to trap someone in a combo for a full minute. Until the point it's not even doing damage anymore, but you get to keep doing it anyways. Sweet yep. The one thing I'll give Melty Blood credit for is that the, the button press thing to reduce damage scaling was kind of smart. So you can uh, take less damage from each hit if you time a button press to it. Mm -hmm. That gives you something to do while you're in a combo, and that's <laughs> yeah. cool. But then the problem is you're in a combo for like half a minute, and then even if it's not doing damage anymore, you're still stuck in the combo. So have fun. That one always surprised me how big it got with people. I guess because it's also really simple. It's uh, isn't it just like three buttons or something? And there, there's like a, a magic shield button, and that's it. It's really, really simple to play. The designs are really boring in it. That's the thing too. This is based off like a visual novel, like three characters. Or something. Yeah, that's the thing too. There's like ten actual characters and then half the roster is just recolors of them or a different version of them there's the there's the maid twins and you can play as one of them or you can play as two of them or you can play as two of them but uh, uh, you're the other one even though they look the same and then there's one of the ones a robot and then uh, there's the the two boys who are twins and they both are just the same there's just the art same. and there's Nico art Chaos. And um, one of the girls isn't even from that series. They just needed an extra character. Or she is from the same. She's not from the same game or something. I forget. It's based off something really boring to begin with, anyways. By the uh, you know the Fate Stay Night. I think it's the same people. Speaking of translations, the localizer behind Fire Emblem Fates got fired for working for multiple companies as well as wanting to legalize child porn. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with working for multiple companies? What's the legalized child porn part? That sounds incredibly <laughs> credible. Yeah. Hmm. He might be a... One of those things isn't illegal, the other thing is 
incredibly unbelievable. <laughs> you can be under contract. That's true, but yeah. I don't think Nintendo does that. Mm, they probably do. For translation? I wouldn't be surprised. Nintendo's weird about things. I could see them doing it. Then again, someone in the chat brought up the whole, uh, was it Darth, Darth Icky? Yeah. Darth that was famous. Jesus Christ. Insanious. George Lucas. Just imagine him and his old boy saying that. Uh, well, you know, uh, you would think Darth Insanious is what to add to the series. He can grab a Star Destroyer with his feet and push it into the planet. Well, I came up with, uh, came up with two names here. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, I'm th thinking about, uh, thinking around the, the lines of uh, Darth Icky. He, he, uh, he will be an underling to Darth Vader. Or Darth Insanius. Darth Vader. Uh, you have to. You gotta puff your cheeks out a little bit. He's a bunch of zits around his lips, and they all popped at once. Have you ever seen that page from that Junji Ito manga where the guy pops his zits all over the girl? <laughs> Oh, find it. That sounds funny. Oh. <laughs> it's like it's making little poopies on her. Do you think it's weird that people were bothered by the localization of Fire Emblem? Because I don't, but a lot of people are, are saying like, oh, they gave it more personality, but then they, they have the one curl. No, they removed content and they altered narrative. Yeah. I don't think that's okay. I, I mean, I understand if they like... Even if it's something like face touching or whatever that they pulled from it, they still did no, really? like... Yeah, they still did drop content from a game and then they removed entire sections of like dialogue and everything and then some of the changes they made i don't uh yeah, that's the thing okay you censored in the last game they censored the one girl's butt okay it's because they think kiddies play the nintendo it was over here so they want to censor it okay stupid but i understand what they're doing like face touching that doesn't offend anybody that's not going to make anybody not buy the game if anybody thinks weird but let's not use it you know why did they the weird ones like the the dialogue with the assassins it's weird that they removed that i don't understand that one at all i guess and that's the, supposed to be some joke the uh um, love interests for your children you can't they like can't have the proper love interest there's what's it the a few characters got turned into just uh meme machines that they're <laughs> The one girl is, uh, she talks in dragon speak, and they take <laughs> her dialogue that she goes, Roar! That means I love you! <laughs> and people, that's the thing, I see that one posted around a lot, and they show what the original translation was, which is like, yeah, it's really boring and typical dialogue, but compared to what it got changed to, you're gonna act like that has personality and that's charming? That's just embarrassing. I'm really glad I'm not that serious I haven't played one since the Game Boy Advance game, so I don't really 
Well, to me, I know this is stupid. The big draw to me is the attack <laughs> animations. I really like the attack animations in the big bosses. And they're nothing special now. They were really flashy back then. Yeah. Especially 2D animations, like, kind of a little They weren't, like, super robot wars flashy. Oh, yeah, there's the guy who's obsessed with pickles, too. I forgot about him. Man in the pickle suit. Man in the pickle suit. Can you explain this one? I'd have to look it up. He he says something like, uh, Did I, did I trip my microphone again? I no, so. I can hear you. I'm sorry, this computer is terrible. When they change this dialogue to, I'm trying to find it. I forget why they did this, but they changed a bunch of his lines that he's obsessed with pickles, and then when he's talking about how much he likes somebody, he compares them to a pickle. Well, that's the thing, like, I completely understand anyone getting bothered by... Mm -hmm. it, it's... Sure, you can argue the original dialogue is really standard, kind of boring, or well, whatever. But what they changed it to is just embarrassing, like, it's a train wreck. It's not even like endearing or anything. It's not like you're giving them characterization. You're just turning them into you're turning them into big goofy. Maybe that's the point they want them to catch on as like internet memes or something. Yeah, it's marketing. You're not turning them into characters. You're just turning you're turning them into like a catchphrase or a gimmick, mm -hmm. which is probably even worse if you're gonna actually go for that angle. Because the popularity in the series over there in Japan is the fact that it's like they want to kind of be invested in it a little bit for what the setting is supposed to be and everything. And when you're just shattering that with uh, the funny pickle man, you're uh, not doing not doing so good. It was weird too because I remember way back I played. Uh, I think I mentioned this before. I the second Phoenix Wright game mm -hmm. and the third one, I didn't actually play the English releases of them. I imported them. You played them. the Japanese yeah. yeah. And I didn't even know about all the stupid pop culture references they shoved into it. They pretend that it takes place in New York. Yep. Um, and that every time they do something incredibly Japanese, they pretend they're in Little Japan or whatever. Like There's all of that, but they also shoved in a lot of really bad, like, cultural <laughs> references. I think. Julian. I think yeah. the third one he says in the. Four hour. Oh, whoa. Well, oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even into the Fire Emblem, so I'm kind of upset that they butchered that for no reason. There's not even a, a clear. You know, in a lot of translations, there's, like, a clear reasoning. Yeah. Whether you agree with it or not. I'm not even sure about the choices they made in that. It just seems arbitrary. And well, then you read, like, what these people who worked on the game are saying, and they're saying how they understand the writing better than the actual writers for the game did. And that these were necessary changes and everything. It, it really makes it just look bad that these are the people you're hiring for localization. This is what they think about themselves. That they don't actually value what you're doing. Like, this is what you don't want to have happen in localization. You don't want someone... You would want to go with, like... You want to get close to what the artist was intending to convey with what they wrote. Mm -hmm. Not just changing into whatever you want because you got bored while working on it. I also like the such dated names. That, that means dinosaur. That roar means I love you, dinosaur. Yeah, that's what it was. I remember when I was a little boy, and I used to look at Nintendo forums, I remember, uh, what was it, everyone was freaking out because Mario and Luigi, uh, they had Elite Speak reference in it, everyone said, this is so epic, they're speaking Elite, elite Speak. Uh -huh. 
I just saw the time like wow, yeesh. That's that's weird. This is starting to seep its way into everything now. Ugh. Animal Crossing did a good job with localization. Like that, that was a good example of bringing it over because they didn't only just translate it; they added a ton of new content to it. Oh, well, yeah, we had a totally like revamped version. Yeah, they they liked it so much they re-released it over. In you know, maybe that's why Nintendo has these kinds of people working on localization now, because after an example like that, they trust us over here a lot. So they're hiring complete weirdos who feel like they matter more than anyone else working on it. Dude, touching people's heads is weird. It's so weird, it should be removed. I see that's so weird. Like, I, it is a little weird, but... So you remove it? Like, the creators of the game put it in on purpose, you know? No, I don't like it. I mean, it's, it's a very, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the whole point of the newer Fire Emblems is to try to deal to the Taco audience as you can. It sure is. Um, that's why there's so much focus on that kind of stuff. And that's what the game appeals to a lot, so why are you, like, alienating that audience? It's why people are complaining about it to begin with, too. Like, your audience is not happy with it. Mm -hmm. And then people on the outside who aren't even playing it and don't care about it are saying, Oh, well, they made it better because they uh, Dragon Girl funny. I like Mr. Pickle Sneezer. Pickle Sneezer makes them up here. Like, if you don't even have any interest in it, then why even bring yourself into it? Well, that's what we're doing. Oh, I guess that's true. Oh, but that's the thing is, I'm not gonna get angry at people over being bothered by that. Like, if, if you're on the outside and you're trying to tell people they can't be upset about that, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. If you're on the outside talking about it, I can understand, but you shouldn't be trying to tell people, like, they're wrong for feeling a certain way. They can, they can be how they want to be on it, I guess. Thank you. It's never too late and it's never too soon. <laughs> Take it from me, it's alright to be. Yum yum yum. Sorry, that was Smorky. Hey, oh. welcome to the stream, Smorky. This is your day. Yum yum yum. Oh, I'm sorry. Never mind. I told you not to touch me like that. You are, you are harassing me. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> yeah, but that would be. Hi, Fred. Hey, guys. It's me. It's Fred. You know that channel you kept linking us that does all the music, the game music? They, they did one of the Spider-Man pizza thing, and they worked in Dr. Connors into it. That's funny. So... Who who works on that channel? I didn't know it, but the Flintstones thing, I guess, is a vine sauce reference. I've never mm. watched them, so I didn't know that. Oh, I fucking forgot. I was going to do that today. What? I needed to... I was going to hook up the N64. Because I wanted to make a bumper and I was gonna tilt the cartridge on Donkey Kong. <laughs> oh that's right, I forgot. And Sorry, I should have reminded you. Uh, I woke up right before we streamed. It didn't matter. <laughs> uh, I'll do it in the morning I guess. Don't mind if I do. Mm, 
Maybe. Maybe some more. Some more. Raven we'll some going. more. Is it not showing the, the donation messages? It should be. Uh, do you want me to run the test again? Yeah, because I mean someone, it was working that first time. Someone said, "Is it showing it?" So I don't know if it's working or not. Is, is it showing up? Because it, it looks like it. Uh, Do it it's again. On the, it's on the. Um, yeah, it showed Twitch up. Twitch viewfinder. Yeah, it showed up. That's me. Hey, I... I just didn't think anyone donated. Let me scroll by the last episode of the Animaniacs. Yeah, I'm Squirrel Boy. <laughs> that was the, the first episode of Squirrel Boy. He died. <laughs> the show's not actually about him. What cave are you going to next? Uh, I don't remember what they're called. But the... It's just to memorize each and every title of these stupid kids. <laughs> is there anything that's ever done that where they just completely mislead you like they I, Madoka is like the only example I can think of where they show like an opening and show all these different characters as, as if that's who the show's about and then they end up dying like, I don't think so stuff. I think it's just too risky for people to do I really like um, the idea of doing that I really like that's that was always the sort of thing I wanted to do was to just like outright fool people but uh, but anytime I brought up the idea that like everybody would tell me like no don't do that that's a bad idea, and I'm sure that's why nobody else does it. Well, people got mad at the Cloverfield movie, although that's true. Like they, they apparently did do that as a last minute decision. Yeah, I don't know. Is it, to me that's not a bad thing. I I still don't mind that as a concept. I still like it. And if it's a good movie, then who cares? Yeah, it's also uh, it was. A few people have been making the comparison to like what the Halloween series was going to end up doing. Yeah, I uh, mean, grant like the, granted that was the idea since the beginning, right? I think so. Like, yeah, it's not like they it's not like they decided. Yeah, that was a little, the that was not a last second thing. That one I, was I like, can I can sort of understand why people wouldn't like the Cloverfield thing because it was a last minute thing and yeah, like I know that for uh, specifically Cullen, his uh, his point of view was that it was just a cynical thing to make more money. Um, which you know, you can't which really... doesn't that doesn't make sense because they only started advertising it like a week before it came out. It was a it was a big secret thing for a long time, anyways, as a movie being made. Yeah. So it's hard to kind of take that angle, acting like that was just a way to make money when they weren't even trying to promote it until it finally was out. They didn't hype it up or anything. Thing is, too, it has Cloverfield in the name, but it's not like directly acknowledging that it's Cloverfield. Well, I mean, there, you know, there's the. Like, it's obviously I, like I said when I saw the thing. I don't. I could tell that like all the alien shit at the end was just tacked on. That's the one thing I can completely understand people being bothered by because that does seem. I I, I don't know why they went with that. But well, because it's Cloverfield, and you can't have a Cloverfield without aliens or monsters. They just shouldn't have done it. They should have committed to it fully. Don't do that. You're saying movies that, like, are not movies, but properties that you end up thinking it's one thing, then you can't do it. Yeah. Else. I like, I like what stuff. about Donkey Kong for the Game Boy? <laughs> I think that counts. Most people didn't even know it turns into what it turns into. That's true. You know what? That's actually a good example of that. And that game is really good. Uh-huh. It even spawned a sequel, and most people don't realize it's a sequel, because it didn't get that far in the gameplay. The thing is, too, if you're upset about what that game turns into, just play the first level over and over again. There you go, you have Donkey Kong. You don't need to get angry. That game is really fun, no one ever talks about it. It's a good game. I think it's very why. Like, a lot of people don't know that uh, Mega Man 5 for Game Boy is a completely different game than Mega Man 5 for NES. Most of them are uh, pretty different. Yeah, but that one is literally 100% different. Yeah. 
I sure feel weird to play. I remember I had two as a kid. I love it because I can't even tell if they're singing, but they're singing <laughs> up together. Listen, they're having fun. That's <laughs> what matters. Is it in two days? This is what in two days? JoJo. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I wasn't keeping track. Oh, shit. I really shit. Oh, is Man, that, or is that a funny April Fool's joke? Oh, uh, I didn't think about that. I know it's in April, though. I don't know when in April. Four is my favorite part. Actually, yeah. Mm. I'll just go with it, sure. We'll say that. <laughs> like six. Six for a while. Steel Ball Run's pretty good, too. Um, I haven't caught up on the newest part. I. Seeing it the first year it was going, and then I haven't kept up on it at all. I liked where it was going though. Mm -hmm. Does April Fools exist in Japan? Probably not. Yes. It was... No, Probably. they. People used to say that Japan ignores it, but because of the full marketing stunts, people. Japan started to get a shitload. Of yeah, but their their culture is so much different. I feel like if they got fooled, they'd jump off the building. If they do harmless ones, like I thought, yeah, I thought they also, I thought they didn't weren't supposed to be able to understand sarcasm or something. So like, wouldn't they, like the you know April Fools is usually predicated on some sort of deception. You go to the store and you uh, you pay for a dozen eggs, but they charge you half price, and they say April Fools. Okay, have a good day. It's it's pranks that are are nice and make you feel good. They don't want to push anyone over the edge. I I hate it over here because everybody always knows it's coming. Nothing ever really works as like a prank. Everyone always makes it very blatant what they're doing, and usually it's not something fun. It's something that you go, great, I can't use this website for an entire day. Yeah, exactly. It's never fun. There was a point when it was, but now it's just obnoxious. I forget what website did it. Is it Reddit? Something completely blacked itself out on an April Fool's Day, just to go along with a dumb prank. That's like the most annoying thing you can do. It's just a prank. No, I remember they had an April Fool's joke. Um, the, I think Capcom was vaguely related to it, but it was revealing a new design for Mega Man X. And, and it, was it, up, it was called a Mega Man Zover? No, no, not that. But <laughs> oh, right, that wasn't a joke. This was... Yeah, no, Zover was a joke. This was a joke initially, but they ended up having a Kickstarter and released a figure of this version of Mega Man, even though it's not from anything. But it's like a really, really good figure. I have it. His like, legs open up and jet boosters come out, and he has an LED Mega Buster. It's actually really cool. It's a but, weird uh, kind of It's joke. a weird prank. Yeah, I know, that's the kind of prank Japan does. Like, it's not... <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not really a prank. Oh. It's like a joke product that becomes serious. Character makes battle sound? What do you think? There's one left. Didn't people think Mewtwo coming to Smash Brothers would say? April Fool's I don't know. I remember, I remember when they showed Shulk, everybody was lining up Little Mix. It was the same thing. Yes! Because they all use pretty plain facial That's the thing, is because also the models for that game the high resolution ones are just the 3DS models with like a. They subdivide the faces so they're smoothed out and look weird. That's why Ganondorf has the weird box chin that's all smooth. 
bitch. They they were kind of smart about it though. When you pause the 3DS game, it swaps the model out for a higher quality one. Ah, oh, that's, that's cute. <laughs> By the way, everybody, get ready for lots and lots of funny jokes in an hour. Because uh, people like doing the April Fool's joke announcements early because of time zones. They're going to start hearing them, I'd say, probably in like eight hours from now, you'll start hearing a couple. Um, There's going to be lots and lots of funny jokes. They're, they're going to say, Mother 3 finally coming. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be mean. Oh, that's why they'll do it. And then everyone will get... Yeah, it's April Fool's. I'll go, what? No, it's real, guys. Ha ha ha, I swear. And I go, no. No. I'm not fooling anybody. We're there. Guilty Gear is supposed to have a demo out in April. I forgot about that. I want to play it. I'm gonna use Johnny Johnny. April Fool. April Fool. We're not even making this game. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone ever done that? That they were saying they're working on something for like two years and then on April Fool's Day they reveal they were never actually making it? That's like not an April Fool's Day joke. Well, it, it's on the day of the release. Yeah. And then they reveal that it was a prank and it never was real. It's the part that always plays me by it. <laughs> What a good idea. Well, I like, we are keeping the money. I like yeah, the they accept pre-orders and everything. Frog Fractions guys did a Kickstarter for a sequel, and the catch was they're not going to tell you what it's called. Because it was supposed to be like a big joke, but something tells me they didn't even make anything. They just pocketed the money. <laughs> Nobody asked any questions. That's like the best way to get away with it. Give a good reason why no one ever has to hear about it. Best gamer should do another April Fool goof. I thought the, the Minesweeper gamer. was pretty good. Yeah, I like the Minesweeper review. It had Archie going in the back. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to blur that video if we put it on here. Oh yeah. Just because of that. I don't know. I'm I'm worried just because we're going for 24 hours with it that Twitch will do something. Yeah. Okay. What will Did You Know Gaming do about April Fools? I'm sure it won't be funny. You know Mario. Yeah, that's what they'll do. They'll say, "Did you know I I." Uh, the main character of Zelda is called Zelda. <laughs> His name's actually Link. <laughs> did, I don't think did, that's you, true. did you know Luigi's the main character of Mario? <laughs> that's. <laughs> did, did you know all the characters in Ed and Eddie are in purgatory? Did you know that I drew them all fucking. And, and they still, <laughs> and they still <laughs> hired me at Cartoon Network. No, Steven like, gets to join in. God, did we bring <laughs> that up before that we were watching that episode? I think we've talked episode? about it, yeah. And it felt really uncomfortable that I thought they were legitimately gonna go with that—that that he will just look like a child despite being an adult, just because it'll, it'll give people a reason to draw porn of a child character. But she's gonna work that logic into it. She's working the long con. Oh, Steven. Yeah, there was an there's a there's an episode about it that he isn't changing and he looks like he's still eleven despite being fourteen. And I thought they're gonna take the angle that he's gonna look like a kid even when he's like eighteen. So that means people could draw basically a, like a ten year old getting fucked. And she drew Adam and Eddie getting fucked. It's all coming full circle. They're all gonna fuck Steven Universe. All three of them are gonna put him down. Yeah. Scary. 
Can you imagine if the Ed Boys broke into your house and pinned you down? As the muscle kicks <laughs> down, I will be make sure the post is clear. And he just screams the whole time. <laughs> he says, What's up? <laughs> How long is TBG TV material? 24 hours including bumpers? Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're still compiling videos and... Oh god, I forgot about the Nestor thing. That was... <laughs> that was the thing nobody was fooled by, that how bad that model looked. Look at his you can tell they just made like a few box shapes in a program and then they smoothened it out a billion times and it didn't look like anything. Mm -hmm. But they thought it was good enough. It's Nestor, guys, I swear. I swear. Oh, god damn it. You gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Come on. Ding dong's computer blue screened again, so at least the game's still going. Or the yeah, stream, rather. Really? It's not going to let me call back? Okay, well, uh, Skype is misbehaving, so uh, I guess we're just going to have to sit here in silence until it decides uh, that we're worthy of uh, communicating over the internet. Hey everybody, this is me, the best gamer. I know all the game news. Uh, 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 tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a Super Smash tournament in the White House. Uh, President Obama uh, decided uh, that he likes um, he likes melee better than brawl, and uh, unfortunately, uh, Michelle likes brawl better than melee. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna fight her with Jigglypuff against Princess Peach. And, uh, the, whoever wins gets to declare uh, which version of Super Smash Brothers is the national uh, treasure. 
It's, that's a uh, game news for today. Why won't this fucking let me call back? I'm stranded. I'm stranded, everyone. You're stuck here with me. This is going to be the, the channel from now on. Uh, Best Gamers TV is cancelled. It's just going to be me playing Pikmin for, uh, for 24 hours. 24 hours, 7 days a week. I'm just going to be playing Pikmin over and over. Um, if, you, if everybody donates enough, I'll, I'll get to buy a Wii U so that I can play Pikmin 3. That's a, that's a lie, that's not actually going to happen. What's over here? I wonder if I should just restart Skype. Oh, there it goes. Oh, no? Okay, I do have to restart Skype. Okay, it's still not letting me do it. Giving me the boop sound, but it won't let me join the call. <laughs> oh, Skype, you've been uh, outstanding lately. Come back eventually, just uh, just watch. Can I do it yet? No. Okay, well, uh, fucking Skype is just g goddamn broken now. Well, I don't think he's called back. Hello, is, is it working now? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh! Yes. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck was up for, the internet. for like 10 minutes it wasn't letting me even hang up Comcast the old call. Comcast restarted my internet. Comcast restarted my internet. I'm sorry. Why'd they do that? I don't know. Didn't they know we're streaming right now? No, they don't care. They've done it while I've been playing games too. Yeah. If I was playing a game of Dota, they'd restart my internet and then I'd get an abandon and I'd be punished for a week. <laughs> They don't care. Uh, I told everybody about the about the current White House debacle. Oh. Oh, can you put the video on, by the way? Oh, yeah, sorry. What'd you tell them about? Uh, I told them that uh, I didn't think uh, Michelle was going to win. And that she's Good wrong. One. Michelle Obama? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe she's running for president. <laughs> Oh, it's the bird. It's bird it's on. <laughs> Lizard on. Lizard on. Peppy Russ. Peppy Russ. 
Squirrel. Squirrel. I'm so glad the conversation picked up again. <laughs> 